We are here with Cheese Man. We're doing now. You feel me? And we got sis in the building. We got um, Heather Sanders. Um, <laughs> her husband is my friend. Her husband. <laughs> we're not husband. We're not oh yeah, you're not husband, married yet. Yeah. So the homie proposed, and it's been 13 years ever since. Or when did he propose? 12 years. He proposed in like 2010 and 2017. He proposed twice, and we're still not married. Wait, it's what do you sad, mean? Sad story. Why did he do it 2010 and 2017? Because in 2010, he gave me a fake ring. Wow, the homie was down bad. He went and got in Fred Siegel. We were on Fred Siegel, and uh, he went and got a little ring. He said it cost $150. I didn't fucking know. Yeah. I didn't give a damn. I was like, oh, this nigga just asked me to marry him. And Where did he ask you to marry him? At Santa Monica Pier. That's cool. Nah, that's me. It was cool on the lifeguard thing. It was cool. I had just moved here from Texas. I was 19. And I guess, I think it probably should have been like a promise ring. Yeah. You know? Because he was just wanted to show me, like, I, I fuck with you. Like, Dude. you moved out here for me. I want to show you that I fuck with you. I'm going to ask you to marry me, whatever. So he did that. So he got on his knee? Yeah, he got on his knee. And, and, and then it was just you two, right? It was I'm just a, us. Because the fucking, for the babies weren't around yet. No. Okay. Damn, that's crazy. I can't, I can't imagine that for being emotional. He's I not, mean, I can, I can, I can. No, we said I love you today before he left, and Jayla was like, wait, y'all said y'all love each other? I've never heard that. <laughs> like, we're just, it's just like he doesn't really show a lot of emotion, and I don't really either. Yeah, his way of showing love to me is like, shut up, fat bitch, bye. Yeah. And that, that just kind of means like, I he love y'all. He talks to me the same. I'm not, <laughs> that just means, hey, I'll see you later, bye. But, um, so you're from Texas. I'm from Texas. Um, from Dallas, Texas. Okay, thank God you didn't say Dallas. So you are... Okay, what's the difference? It's no difference. It's like Woodland Hills in California. It's like Woodland Hills in L.A. It's a Trails big difference. like, niggas aren't from L.A., they from the Valley. Oh, okay. So, so that's he's like, you ain't from Dallas, you from Fort Worth. It's okay. like that. It's like 30 minutes, you know, into the city. It's just on the outer skirts. It's a little country, you know. But And how was it growing up there? Because I know Texas could be a little wild. Um, It wasn't wild. It was chill. I, I'm from the country. My dad, like... He's a teacher, so he like put me in the school where he'd keep his eye on me. Wow. Yeah. It was like, I have but, a big family, but it was a small town. So do you guys go based off like last names there? Yeah. Like, oh, like those are the Sanders. Yes. Wow. Everybody knew me in my school. They knew I was Tim Sanders' daughter. The Sanders ran the city. Like, we ran Haltom City. Um, it's kind of so. sc- intimidating, right? Like, for like... Like, if somebody was trying to be your friend or, like, date you, like, oh, this is your dad or this is your mom, these are your uncles? A little bit. But nobody was ever scared to date me. Uh, and when they did, yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Why? Because the whole town would find out? Yeah. And how would your mom keep you guys in control knowing that you guys were, like, not talk of the town, but, like, like let's just say, like, example, like, if one of your sisters wanted to go and be a hoe, like, your mom wouldn't know because a certain mom would talk or a certain dad or a certain neighbor. Everybody told on me. I was that I was that daughter. <laughs> and everybody told on me. Everybody was like, oh, I saw Heather here. Or even my boyfriend's mom was like, Heather's over here. It's 3 a.m. I know she's not supposed to be over here. I always Whoa, told on the, the, yeah. the, your, your boyfriend's mom was snitching on you? Yeah. I never got away with much. And, and, and how was it growing up with a dad as a teacher? And then I know I'm back on Figgy and Wild, which we'll get to. But yeah. you talked about what your mom does too. How was it growing up with parents with like careers that are like usually kind of more like people are kind of shocked when somebody's that? Uh, it was cool. I, I liked it because everybody knew my dad. So I yeah. felt like I could like do certain things. I didn't have to go to gym class or change into those ugly clothes if I didn't want to because <laughs> Tim Sanders was my dad. I could go sit in the principal's office all day if I wanted to. I could go sit in the counselor's office all day if I wanted to because I was Tim Sanders' daughter. Yeah, yeah. So I, I liked it. I didn't, it didn't bother me. That shit didn't bother you. Everybody I, loved my dad. Everybody thought he was so cool. Shout out to you, daddy. Everybody thinks he's still cool. He's a teacher. So yeah, yeah. everybody's just and like, And this was oh. like... And, and for he's like a high school teacher? He was high school. No, you know what? So he would teach uh, like where the bad kids had to go. Oh, so kind of like continuation school. Yeah. So he would teach where like. You couldn't go to regular school, so you got sent to this one, but it was still school. Oh, so all the hood motherfuckers loved your dad. Yeah. Like he was like the one that accepted them kind of. Exactly. He ah. didn't judge them. He accepted them. He fuck around with them, play with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Know? Stuff like that. So it was everybody always loved my dad and. Love me. 
And and for what about siblings? How many siblings do you have? I have four sisters and one brother. Wow. Half brother. He's going through it tough. He don't I, give a fuck. Nah. No. I went through it tough. I have three older sisters. I was like, you know how many times I had to like, oh yeah, your sister fine. For like, what the fuck, motherfucker? I had to squabble, motherfuckers. My brother was a little bit older than us, so I don't think he had to deal with that. Oh, he was older than he you guys. He was older than us. We didn't go to high school with him or anything, so he, I don't think he he dealt with too much of that. Yeah. See, I'm the baby. Yeah. So I had to deal with like my older sisters being the ones that were like, you feel me? Like they were older than me and my homies would say some stupid shit or even older people that were their age would say some stupid shit and I would just have to get at them crazy. I just have to be like that. I can't wait for Zane to do that for his sisters. Oh, for Zoe? Yeah, for Zoe just, and Zoe. And he's wild too. He's a sweetheart though. So I don't know if he's going to be like that. I don't know. It's going to be cool to watch him grow up and see how he is, but I, I know he's going to have his sister's back. For who's going to be the crazy one, the baby? Probably the baby. I used to think it was Zoe because she's going to be like her daddy, but it's probably Ziri because she's wild. And you have really strong genes. I know. These kids, like, they, they, they're they T-Rail's kids, by the way, because they're wild. But I'm like, yeah. but I'm like, they look nothing like you, fool. Like, the homie's ugly way. They do look like T-Rail. Dog, the homie is ugly, fool. Like, <laughs> let's just be honest. The homie's ugly way. But the these babies came out like, you know when they say, like, there's never a... You feel me? Like, you know how there's like a saying, like, okay, so there's like, um, what's bro's name that's dating Coco? Ice-T? Ice-T, yeah. Okay, you know how they They're go like, babies. you know how they go like, man, they baby's ugly. <laughs> they always go like, that's the first ugly light-skinned baby. T-Rail and Heather made like real beautiful light-skinned babies. Like, we did make beautiful babies. And they just smiled. They got their braids always done, their hair, their fucking, <laughs> this food, these babies got off white, fool, like all day. Well, they don't. Yes, get the fuck out of here. I've been there. Adam was like, y'all's babies wear expensive clothes. I'm like, my babies wear Zara, Amazon, Sheen, whatever I can find them, Walmart. I, they're just fly. You just have to have sweat. No, yeah, they're fly. They're fly. But it's funny because, okay, so we're like, the first time I met him was at Adam at um, Parker's first birthday. Uh -huh, and yeah. I was like, hey, Zane, jump in the water. He was and like, he will. And he was like looking at it. Jump in the fucking water. And then, but yeah, so... um. Explain to me your whole life in between you getting kind of into the industry even before you met T-Rail. Um, <clears throat> I really wasn't in the industry, like, like as far as, like, doing anything. I would just hang out around with a lot of people that were okay. in the industry. And, um, and this was just, in like, Texas? being from Dallas. Yeah, in Dallas, like, there's, like, a small group of people that kind of, like, knew celebrities, people outside of Dallas mm -hmm. or, you know... There was like a group in Dallas that was like the Dallas celebrities, and I was friends with both. So, um, my friend Stet, which he came on back on Fig before, I don't know if you saw that, but he was best friends with Lil Twist from Dallas. And 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 Lil Twist is part of Young Money. Yeah, he's okay. part of Young Money. So that's kind of how I got into like being around them mm -hmm. uh, and around that crowd. And that's like as far as the industry that I was in. Yeah. But I knew like DJs from like the radio stations and just like friends that I would have that would like um, be promoters at the club. So I was just always kind of in the mix at a young age yeah. where I shouldn't have been. I was in the club at like 17, 18. Oh, shit. Oh, so you well, and, 17. And, and they were 21 plus. <laughs> yeah, 21 clubs. Is the age um thing different in, in Texas? Like what? Because I know like in certain, no, it's, it's the same as California. 21 I, to drink, 18 to get in a club. Yeah, because I don't know. Some stage, I was like, I seen people put like 16 plus. I'm like, what the fuck? And they're like, oh, they're like in Atlanta, you could like, I, or, or somewhere I like. I used to have teen clubs. Yeah, I used yeah, to be yeah. all up in those too. Okay. And then, I just wanted to grow up so fast. I wanted to grow up so fast. And I, I never wanted to like date any guys in high school. Like that's why I was a cheerleader. I was in student council. I was really involved in my high school. But I never wanted to like talk to anybody. I talked to one guy uh, in high school, only one guy. But but everybody else like, oh yeah, like I want this older guy. I want kind of career made. I like, wanted older guys. I wanted somebody that was doing something. I don't want nobody that was on my level. Okay, and then while this is happening, you were doing like video vixen stuff. Yeah, I was trying to be like the video vixen girl. And who was the first music video you ever came out of? The first music video that I was in was, I think it was Duro. It was, yeah, buddy, rolling like a big shot. Chevy tuned up. I'm like too young. Car. I'm too oh, young. Do no. What song is this? A hit, it's called Ice Cream Paint Job. He's from Dallas. And then I was in My Dougie. My Dougie? 
My Dougie. They're both Dallas artists. So okay, fool. They're from Dallas. Yeah, they're Dallas artists. And from like artists. 2010, motherfucker. From like, they're, they yeah, are fool. legendary songs. Though. Okay, okay. Okay, when do those songs come out, Heather? Probably like 2009, 10. Okay, motherfucker, I was 9 and 10 from L.A. Like, Fucking if you ask dude, anybody no. my age, and we're listening You're to so that. you so young. <laughs> but when, okay, and then you did that, and that was kind of like, oh, this is kind of like my little breakthrough? Yeah, like, I was like, this is like what I can do. And I was start, starting to take, like, the pictures and, like, like the sexy pictures, and, like, that's what I was, that was my whole thing. And then I had got into this magazine called Smooth Magazine. It's in New York. Was that when DJ you did K the video? Uh, hey, I think you did like a video, like music video vixen. I remember seeing it on the Reddit and I was like, oh shit. What video was You're it? Like, I don't know. You did like a, like a video vixen thing. You're kind of like promoting and like, hi, I'm Heather. And then, and then. Oh, really? But I, you were like in lingerie. You have to show me that. Oh, yeah. It was like in black and white. And then I was like, oh shit, like this goes way back before you met T Rail. So you like, was popping before you met this motherfucker kind. Yeah. Yeah. That's how he met me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was popping before he was. Facts. But I mean, in my city, I just, I was just like trying to figure it out. Cause I'm like, I don't, I'm, you know, I was working at Dillard's. What's that? Uh, it's like a Macy's. Like okay, a, okay, okay. Nordstrom. I was working at Macy or Dillard's and I'm just like, this cannot be my life. I had graduated high school. I'm like, what am I going to do? And I just started hanging out with different crowds and just trying to move around and figure it out. Because I was, like, in Halton City and, like, Fort Worth my whole high school, you know, years. So, like, I started, like, traveling to go, like, go to Dallas. And I would drive. And i just get further and further. I would go to Dallas, hang out. And then I started driving to Houston. And then I started driving to Austin and just, like, getting out. And that's how I kind of, like... That's how, that's how you kind of met everybody. So you was like the baddie from Fort Worth. Like, this is like, oh, Heather from Wolves coming. And I'm pretty sure back then it was like, what, Blackberries? So you guys had like those one, what, what, what were the group trucks called? Yeah, BB, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, what was it called? Yeah. Yeah, Heather, uh, was, Heather was wild. It's rough to be mad. And you know, it was, uh, <laughs> it was that, and it was like um, MySpace, uh, and it was like uh, the first video chat, I don't know if Tiny Chat. It was Tiny Chat, and that's how I really started to meet other people. You fools are horny. Chat. How do you guys know about all of this? They're my age. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's very it was tiny, tiny chatty. Chat. So I was able to. It's like your kids. Yeah, it's like AIM. Yeah, AIM. And so I could start talking to different people in different cities. And yeah. I was like, wow, this is crazy. So that's how I met my friend Stet. And then he was like, I'm moving there. And then he moved there, and then he became friends with. Twist and then Twist was with Young Money and then, yeah. And then the story comes into where, who were you talking to first, Little Wayne or Tyrell? Little Wayne. <laughs> okay, good. I, I would just want to say that I was not uncomfortable during that live. Okay, I, good. I, I wasn't uncomfortable. I just wanted to see how the, but I know the homie, so I know he wasn't react. He was just, he was more like Heather. You said it. That's on you. Yeah. But it was like, I thought it was funny because I was like. Oh, fucking hell, he's wild. But I see... Because nobody knows that I'm wild. Yeah, Everybody fact. thinks I'm perfect. Yeah, like, you're like, you know. you're like the, you're like, that's my man and this is me. And you're like, you're kind of like, you have like a mom thing. Yeah. So yeah, when you said I'm that... I'm older now. It's 12 years. Yeah, so when you said that, everybody was like... What? Heather could do such a thing. Like, what? Heather did that? And I just, I, everybody was, like, calling. Like, that night we got so many calls. That From, like, family members? Family members, the whole No Jumper crew, Terrell's friends. Everybody was calling. I'm like, am I y'all's girlfriend or am I Terrell's girlfriend? Yeah, fact. Okay, so this is how I saw. Okay, a lot of them, especially their generation, like, I think my generation, we're a little more acceptable to shit like that. And that's just maybe because of the internet. But I also have sisters. So if I know if my sister was doing some whole shit, I don't give a fuck. Do your life. I don't give a fuck. But you feel me? Like, I can see, I can see both sides of it. So to me, it was like, yeah, they talk your shit. Fuck this buck ass motherfucker. But, but then I can see why he would be like, damn. Now they got one on me. Because he didn't he didn't hear the end of it. So like he's never gonna hear the end of it. Never gonna hear the end yeah. of it. Yeah. But he also does, but knowing the homie's personality, I know he doesn't give a fuck. He don't. And that's why I wasn't really pressed because I know he doesn't care. Yeah, and and this this is news to y'all. It's not news to us. Yeah. We've been, you know, me and my friends and family, we've we've been know this since twelve years ago. And 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 
in the family, do you guys ever like joke about? It? I mean, obviously it's not brought up like during Thanksgiving, but do you and Tira ever just clown? Because you guys, you guys' relationship is like very heavy. If you guys are in love with each other, have kids, but you guys also get along like homies. I've been like, let me just stupid ass the fuck. I'll be like, damn. Yeah, we do. No, we never. No, I don't play. We don't play about that. I mean, it was never like that big of a staple in my life where it's yeah, just like, like he took me from him. It was just like he never like repped me or was like this is my girl or yeah. it was just like I was just having fun with him. Yeah, you yeah. Know? You, I mean, I mean, you was young and living life, and you were in a in a point in your life where like shit, you was just wild and like fuck it. What's up? I was like, wild. That's yeah. how I met Terrell. He knows <laughs> I'm wild. I was wild. I didn't care. I was living my life, but I'm glad that I was wild that young because. And the important those 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 days don't matter. Yeah, These yeah. days matter, Facts. and I'm like, you know, I have my shit together. I have, I'm not out here. Yeah, fact. I'm like basically married. And also, I'm I'm like when 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 that like when when that happened and that that whole that whole stream was crazy. We went that crazy. Stream, yeah. That stream was funny as fuck. <laughs> but seeing your guys like dynamic and relationship, it was like it was like it's also very like more like it's like damn, you kind of want to be in a relationship. Cause you guys are hella open. Like example, like people always tell me, like does she, does he get mad? Does does Heather get mad when he plays about your sister? I'm like Heather, don't give a fuck. No, that's cause he'd be like, like, yeah, cookie, like and like AD be talking about fucking my mom, but I be talking about Heather. Like I be like, cause you feel me? I don't know Tyrell's family like that, or I bring up his mom, but we just play around like that. Yeah. But I'm like, nah, they get along like that, fool. And the homegirls were like. She's cool like that. I'm like, yeah, fool. Like she, they play with each other like that. Yeah. And I'm like, that's why when that situation happened, I know it didn't bug him because this would be saying some wild ass shit. He's just wild. Yeah. Yeah, I've just learned how to deal with Terrell. At first, I didn't understand like how he would joke and like certain stuff that he would say, but I get him now. We get each other. Yeah. And I kind of threw him off too. I was just fucking drunk. I was just drunk and just talking dumb. But I said that to say. Like, cause you had asked how we met. Yeah. Okay. So I've heard the story before. You said it one uh, for the day of your birthday. You came on at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you said the story, but I'm I'm guessing obviously right there you weren't drunk. So I'm guessing obviously you probably skipped over I've that. I've never like nobody's <laughs> ever know that I've talked to him. Like I fucked yeah. up and slipped up and said that I talked <laughs> to him. Nobody knows. Which like, I even... Okay. I mean, Best rapper ever. He was the. That's Cali's favorite. When Cali heard it, he was like, At that time, Young Money was everything. Young, bro, Drake, Nicki, Wayne, Tiger, Tyrell. <laughs> they <laughs> like, were everything. They were fucking like, bro, I remember listening to fucking every single Young Money song. Yeah. Bad Rock, I was like, 10, I didn't understand that shit, but I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, going yeah. back to word. And that's what I was trying to like explain is like, I was talking to this nigga and I had like, you know, I was doing this, I was doing that with like the the greatest rapper alive yeah, or yeah. whatever, the most famous guy. And I chose the not so famous guy that was nobody, didn't have any money, didn't have any this because of his personality. He made me laugh. We would stay on the phone all night with this guy. I mean, I'm not even anything to him. He probably doesn't even remember me to this day. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It was just like we were having fun a couple times or whatever. Yeah. But like... I chose you over that because that same night I was texting both of them. I was in my my player bag. I was trying to like whatever, you know. I'm like whatever, trying to just see what's what's going on. Yeah, which one you choose type shit. Yeah, like who am I going to go with? And I was like, let me just stop by and see him real quick before I go up and meet him. Let me just stop by and see him real quick. And I ended up staying with him that whole night because the chemistry was crazy. And I'm like, I don't need to go up here with this fool. Like, I'm in love with him already. Whoa, that's crazy. And I kind of, it was supposed to be a flex, but it didn't come out like that. It just came out the wrong way on Back on Thick. It's just, it's just, okay, if I'm being honest, that whole stream, you just had a lot of hiccups. Yeah. It was like a lot of hiccups. I did. <laughs> but 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 see, like me being like devil's advocate, like, cause at the moment I'm like, I'm like, I'm not little bro, but I'm little bro. Like, you know, I'm it's like 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 I have a lot of respect and I look up to Tyrell and a lot of things, the way he talks, his 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 his, his, his like his his comical, like even like when he talks shit, clown, like we able we I'm 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 able to learn a lot of things, even though this is what I do for a living. So I was seeing him like do his shit here running the stream, you know. 
even though, yeah, I've been doing it for a little longer, obviously, because I, I, that's how I got into social media. I'm, like, learning, but I'm also being, like, devil's advocate. I'm, like, clowning with Heather. So it's like, I'm, like, in the middle, and then Heather just wilding. And then I'm thinking t going to get mad, but he just makes a joke out of it. Boom. And I'm like, well, oh, he's going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, the cameras are rolling, so he's yeah, going to yeah, do that. Yeah. But when I watched it back, he I was, was like, like, oh, because everybody else is doing it. Yeah. I was like, bitch, why did you say that? <laughs> like, nobody needs to know that. And I hate that I said that because really nobody, that no, doesn't yeah. matter. Nobody needs to know that. But I was trying to say it as a flex, like, fuck this nigga. Like, I chose him yeah. over him. That's what it was supposed to be like, but it just it's cause, it's cause, it's cause it was supposed to be a flex, like... Hyping the homie up, but it, it kind of looked like you were shitting on the homie. I know. You get what I'm saying? Like, and, I, and I've <laughs> never done that. Like, I've never, like, when me and Terrell were like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start talking or whatever. I never brought that up. I never throw that in his face. Like, the guy never even tried to contact me after that. Like, it was never like like that. Yeah, you like, it would have been mean? different if there was, like, rumors that you guys dated and then you and Terrell got together. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's nothing like that. Yeah, so I think that's why I was like, because, dude, I see, like, and, like, our face wasn't fake. Our expressions from, like, me, Smack, and everybody in the room was real. I was like. Yeah. Everybody's just like, wait, how but, do we feel? But instead of us making it awkward, we made it funny. Yeah, y'all did. Because I was like, ah! And then yeah. Smack was jumping, and then Terrell was laughing. But I know my homie. I've been sitting next to him for the last almost three years. I'm like, ooh. This one got a stupid ass. <laughs> but but he's also, but see, that's like things you learn from him is like the way we kind of, he kind of reeled it in. Like, nah, I'm not going to get mad right now. We're going to talk in the car maybe, but. We mm. talked in the car and even on the car, and on the car ride home, I felt so stupid. I'm like, I'm going to get cussed out. Like, I'm just going to be like, he's going to be mad at me for weeks. But he wasn't mad. He was just like. No, like, he's like, it's whatever. He's like, you shouldn't have said that. He's like, you got drunk. You shouldn't have said it. He was like, but I, because we just have an understanding. Yeah, fact. You know what I mean? Like, we're just connected and we just know. So I'm like, okay, cool. He's not mad or whatever. And then the night goes on and people start calling. And the next day people start calling and this guy starts getting more views and it starts getting clipped. And then they talk about it on a jumper. And I'm like, wow, they really enjoyed this news, huh? I'm like, wow. I'm like, I'm glad I can give them something to talk about for the week. Fact. But. He 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 never was like really mad at me. I yeah. think it's because he's just dealt yeah, with it for so long. Yeah, facts. And he just is confident that stupid I don't give confident. A fuck about him or that life that I had previously, previously to Terrell, and we've been building ever since. So he knows. But I'm thankful for those days because I learned a lot, and they made me who I am today. So it's just, and you need that time. Like if I would have never had that. I probably would like want to break up with Terrell and go live my life at thirty or forty. You Facts. know what I mean? And go try to wild out. And also, like I've 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 heard you guys story multiple times. Obviously, like Terrell has a different little parts, but like after that night, you guys were kind of like peanut butter and jelly. Like after that night, when you kicked it with him and got to know him, and like yeah, how you say you're like I've kind of like fell in love like first like. Because if you sit with somebody, like he told us, he was like, I tried to crack shit at 11. He's like, I knew that was the one. Yeah. And then he's like, we just sat there and talked about everything. And I'm like, when you kind of do that with somebody, you're kind of like, oh, okay, this, you can have a conversation with me on. Well, the reason why I didn't let him do anything that night is yeah. because I knew what I was supposed to go be doing. I knew my agenda for the night was to go do that. Yeah, yeah. You know? So I knew that I couldn't do that with this one. Yeah. But I never ended up going to do that. But I still just didn't want to do it with yeah, him. Fact. Like, I'm just like, it's just not needed. Like, we were just talking. We were just having fun. But prior to us meeting, we had been talking for, like, five months. On Twitter? On Twitter, on Tiny Chat, on Skype, on whatever we could. So oh, it shit. feels like I knew him a little bit. And with the other guy, I didn't get to talk to him like that. Yeah, you fact. Know? Obviously, because like, of who hey, you. Like, hey, you know, here or there, yeah. whatever, here and there. But... He was actually like giving me the attention and stuff. He was, he, for consistency is key. Yeah. And then after that, you guys hung out again. Cause I know they were there for like a tour day, right? <clears throat> like a tour, like a tour yeah, week. Yeah. So he had got mad at me for something and we didn't talk for a long time. And then Tyga was like, I'm gonna be in Houston at this club. And I'm like, I'm gonna drive to Houston. And so I had a raggedy ass car. So I was like, Daddy, can you please, uh, 
co-signed for me to rent this car or whatever. I'm, I'm going to Houston with my friends. We need to rent a car. So my dad, you know, rented the car for me because I wasn't old enough. I got that car. I drove to Houston and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to DM him and see if he answers. And if he doesn't answer, I got other niggas to go see. So he goes to you? He didn't ghost me that night. No, no, I'm talking about like when you guys got in a fight. Yeah, he ghosted me. You guys kicked it. He left, obviously, back on the road. You guys were still talking consistency. And then, and then he was talking to one of these girls that I knew, and I had checked him about it. And I'm like, why are you talking to this bitch? You know, and I'm like, why are you talking to her? I know Heather. her. <laughs> like, what are you doing? And then we had kind of like got into it, and I'm like, well, whatever. We don't have to talk. And so we stopped talking. And I was like, dang, I like him, and I miss him. And I'm like, he's not calling my phone. Like, fuck, and I really want to talk to this guy. And so when Tyga had tweeted, I'm going to be in Houston, I'm like, okay, I planned it. Because I, I had a full-time job. I worked yeah. at an like, insurance company. And so I worked nine to five, five days a week. And so I was like, I planned. It was like on a Saturday. Or no, it was on a Friday. So I got off work early that Friday, drove to Houston, made it down there. And I went to the club, and I texted him. And I was like, hey, I'm outside of this club. And I sent him a picture. And then within seconds, he was out there, and he took me into the club, brought me into VIP. Well, with all your homegirls? No, it was just me. Oh, you so I didn't go with my friends. Oh, you lied to your dad? I lied to my Oh, friends. damn, T-Real. I move alone. Nice, bud. I like to move alone, and I, and uh, yeah. And you were like, hey, I'm outside, and like. I was there. You're like, hey. And he was like, within seconds, he was outside. He was like, hey, Groove, she with us. Yeah, and he <laughs> took me to the club. And I hung out with them in VIP till they got done, whatever. Then we went back to his hotel that they were staying at. And then I stayed the night with him. Still didn't do anything. Yeah. Still didn't do anything. Stayed the night with him. And then after that, it was, it was history. After that night, I remember it like it was yesterday. And then you went back to Dallas, quit your job, and then moved with him? I went back to Dallas, and then we would still talk. And then I couldn't just quit my job because I didn't have enough money saved. Yeah. So I had to, like... I worked for a year, and I had saved like ten thousand something, and um, I moved out here when I had enough money yeah. to like feel okay. And then I was like, okay, I have enough money, I can move. And he flew out here. He flew to Texas, and then we drove my car back here. Yeah, and oh, you fools got to make a movie out of this love story. I know it's a really special one. I because, can't wait to tell my kids. Because this whole year is he is he flying back and forth? Yeah, we're going back and forth. So he, so he'll come to Texas and then I'll go to LA. But I couldn't get that much time off work. But because you have a regular job and he's on he's with Tiger, so it's a little more his, his schedule's a little more lean. Yeah. So whenever Tiger had a break, he would come to me, or whenever they were in Texas, we'd meet up. Or I would, like, try to take off. Or I would go out there for, like, two days on the weekend. Like, whatever chance we could to see each other, we did. And then um, with and then, and then then with that going on, is, does he meet your parents within that year? No. Uh-uh. Oh, he so never met my parents. Until it was official. <laughs> until, until he you moved. came to drive but, my car to Cali is when my mom met him. Okay, look, I'm, if I'm being honest... The homie is stupid in love, cause dog. If a girl were to tell me like, okay, we're doing this, but you gotta come to Texas and drive back what twenty something plus hours? Twenty six. Oh my god, that's what the fuck I'm not doing. Well, no, because I well one day I'll never forget, cause I would have so much fun out here. I'm like, there's no way I'm going back to my regular ass job. What are you doing, lady? I'm like, what am I doing? Going back to my regular job. And uh, one day I was just crying at the airport, like, I don't want to go. It's so funny because when he went to that fucking stupid ass show in Vegas with No Jumper where y'all did him wrong with the hotel room. Who, who's y'all? Heather, I'm just an employee. Josh and Adam. <laughs> Josh <Thanks>. and Adam. <laughs> uh, he, I was like, dang, I feel like this is that time where we had to, because he, af, for a while, to like after he stopped fucking with Tiger, he didn't travel for a long time. So we were just together every single day. So when he got with No Jumper, he started to travel again. And and started to be more busy. More busy. Yeah. And yeah. so I was like, oh God, like I feel like this is like me All going over back again, to like Texas deja again. Yeah, like deja vu. It was literally deja vu. And no, he texted me on the plane. He's like, Oh, I'm about to cry right now. Like the mirror. It was just weird. It was really like deja vu. But yeah, so we would go back and forth. And I cried one day. I was like, I really don't want to go back. He was Where like, LAX? Go back. Yeah, I LAX. He's like, go back. 
he was like, this is the last time you'll have to go back. I'm like, okay. And then I had went back one more time, and then that was the last time. And then the next time I went back, I stayed. Damn. See, but like... One thing about the homies, he could tell you he got you, he got you. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. And how'd you break it to your family? Like, hey, I've been talking to this guy. You guys haven't met him, but I'm leaving, motherfucker. Well, like, everybody knew who he was because we would be on the computer, tiny chat or whatever we could video call And then at the on. moment, he's, like, on TV, right? Like, um, is, is, well, like is, music videos. And, like, but is this, like, during the whole Tiger like, MTV thing? No. No, so this was a little after. No, before. Oh, before. Well, the MTV shit, well, that was, like, yeah, that was... Okay, okay, okay. A I, long I was... time after. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So when we were, like, talking, he wasn't, like, famous or anything. He was just around famous people. Yeah, yeah. So he was in, like, music videos, and I'm like, oh, there he is. Or he was, like, on BET stage accepting an award with the gold hat. Oh, he's so ugly in yeah. that hat. I'm like, you oh, should have dressed is. him that I know. <laughs> I thought he was so fly. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, I don't, they would see him like that. But my mom's like, who is this guy you're talking to? He cusses so much. He says bitch every other word. Like, that why are you true. talking to him? And I'm like, yeah, why am I talking to him? And he used to love to fight with me. I'm like, why do you want to fight with Dog. me so bad? And every chance he could, he was, dumbass bitch, fuck you, dumbass bitch. Uh -huh. and, hang with, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm like, you're angry at the world. And one day I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be talked to like this. You've lost your mind. You're wild. I'm done with you. And then we stopped talking for like probably like a month or so. And then he came back again. And he was like, I'm going to change the way I talk to you. I promise <laughs> I'll never call you another bitch again. I'll never do this. I'll never do that. And he was like, good. And then. And then once he trapped you, he was back at it. Yeah. <laughs> and, then yeah. when you, and then when you moved out here, I know um, you moved out here, but how far was it be when you moved out here and then him and Tiger stopped fucking with each other? A while. So I moved out here in 2010, and when did they stop talking to each other? Like 2017 or 18? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think 17 or 18. Oh, so, so I had a good... Like seven, and then this is at the time when you're kind of like, you're not working for Tiger, but you're kind of like, oh, my man is his right hand, so... I'm, I'm do so I'm helping I can. the team. Yeah, I'm helping the team. You're helping the team, and then and then you have a breakdown in the bus, right? Yeah. And then talk about when when that happened. So I was just like, so over washing YG and Tiger's clothes and cleaning their buses and you know doing everything I could. I was like, I want to be able to like go get my nails done in these different cities and go get my hair done or have like this outfit. And that's when, like, China started to come around. Another girl. I never was, like, around, like, another girl that was there consistently. And she was always so pretty and, like, always had her hair done and her nails done and, like, just polished all the time. And I'm like, I need to, like, be looking like that. Because I was just regular. I was just always a cute girl, but. And, and China's popping at the moment? Yeah. But Drake shouting her out. Like, she's popping. What is she popping for, though? Stripper. Oh, she was a popping stripper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but Tiger had brought her around. Oh, so there was no girls allowed but you because you the homie's girl and you're you're like our best friend's girl. Yeah. And then China comes around because she got with Tiger because every other girl was a fast ass girl, right? Yeah. Boom, boom, in boom. and out. So there was no girl that stuck really mm -hmm. until her. And then so I started like, okay, like I want to look like her or I want to like you know do this. And I'm like, I need my own money because. He don't got none. Uh, he had it, but not enough to, like, do what I wanted to do. And Cut. I didn't want to ask him for it. I always was working, like, mm. you know. So then I got a job at the yard house, and I was like. In L.A. Life? In L.A. Life. Wow. And I'm like, I'm just going to not travel with y'all anymore, which Tyga and SB were probably so happy because they were like, why does this nigga take his bitch everywhere? We don't have our bitches with us. But this fool takes his girl everywhere. But I never felt like I was a burden on the crew. But also, T. Rowe's demeanor is kind of like, okay, if, if, if I'm being honest, let's just say if, if we're like, um, if we're like, let's just say me and He's AT&T. He's like a bully? No, no, no. If me and, maybe, maybe to them, fools, not, because I've seen that fool like on, on angry mode. And I'm like, oh. Y'all don't, yeah. Hey, T. Rowe, talk to me. We got to get out. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know how I was with everybody else. I could just say, with me, obviously, he's he's older now. Mm -hmm. And that job he had is a lot. Obviously, that's why he feels the type of way he feels because 
I could only imagine being somebody's right hand and just shit from one day to another. Just you know what I mean? So, yeah, he had a lot on his plate. You know what I mean? So I could, especially like the stories he says and like the shit he had to go through. I'm like, damn, but I'm like. I gave it to you, dog, because especially dealing with somebody at their peak, at their fucking, like, phone calls, meetings, fucking, and you're Money. just, you know, so, so I can only understand how crazy it is, but I could also understand why they probably never told them anything, like, why your girl here, but they definitely thought it, like, they're like, nah, we're not finna tell this for nothing, because he was a big part of the team, like, it's like. I think that, too, nobody ever said anything to me, and I'm like, there's no way. That these guys can be at the peak of their career, traveling, have bitches in and out, and I'm just the only bitch sitting here. He's not cheating. He's not having fun with them. They would always clown him, like, "Oh, like you're whack. Like you don't, you can't go here with us because you have a girl, or you have." To, and he would take a lot of shit from me being around. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I know they gave him a hard time for it, but he never let it phase him. He's like, "This is my girl. She's gonna be here." But I always made sure when I was there that I was like helping yeah. in some type of way instead of just being a dusty ass bitch over there like trying to like run with the crew and not do anything and it's like I'm not fucking with these niggas like you know what I yeah, mean yeah, like yeah. I'm not like it's not like oh she's fucking everybody it's like I'm only his girl and then that so, doesn't happen a lot yeah so you automatically became sis yeah and then black china started coming around mm -hmm. and then that's when you were kind of like oh and then black china started coming around before yard house or after yard house after yard house and so I was just like, I have to have money to like, you know, because I want to be, I want to have something on my own. Well, it really was because I want to get my hair, nails, and buy a cute outfit. That's yeah. why I was. So let me just go get a job. And then I got my check and I was like, called Terrell one day and I'm like, I made $125. Like, what am I going to do? I can't even buy something from the swap meet. Like, I could go buy two bags of hair with $125. And so he's like, quit that shit. Like, I don't even know why you're working. Like, quit that shit. And I'm like, okay. And the last night, Chris Brown had came to the yard house, and they were like, oh, like, Heather, like, you know, Chris Brown is here. Like, walk him to, like, the host table or whatever. I'm like, bitch, I'm out of here. I heard Chris Brown was at the front. I'm like, bitch, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm not about to walk him to the table. I was just in the studio with him last night. Like, we were around Chris Brown every day at the time. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not walking him to his table. I will fucking quit this job. <clears throat> So oh. I went to the bathroom and I stayed in there for like 30 minutes until my manager was like, Heather, you have to get out. And I got out and I was like, I'm going home. And then after that, I never came back. But you did that for like you feeling embarrassed or feeling me. embarrassed for him? No, me. Just because I'm like, I'm, work, I'm all black, ugly ass outfit. My hair is not cute. Like, I'm just not cute. And I'm just working at the yard house. Like nobody knows I worked. So I'm like, oh, I was okay. like embarrassed that I worked, which I shouldn't have been, but I not was. at all. I was though. But it's because the certain lifestyle had you like kind of like on your toes always on, like. Yeah, and then everybody was like looking at my fake ass ring at the yard house, and like, why do you work here? You have this big rock on your finger, and I'm like, you <laughs> know what, bitch? Right. I don't know. I really <laughs> don't know why I have this rock on my finger and I work here. I don't. And then I just started like, maybe this is fake, but I never cared. Yeah, and then, okay, so you quit. So I quit. And then? And then I was just, like, full-time with them, you know, like, whatever they were doing. And then I was, like, broke down on the bus one day. Like, I have to start something for myself. And then that's when I was, like, I'm going to start Sorella. And then I did it. Where does the name come from? It. I was searching, like, uh, like women empowerment or, like, women sticking together or something like that. And I was just looking up different uh, languages yeah. And so it means beautiful sister in Italian. Wow. Yeah. So that's what it means. And I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't love it when I picked it, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to name it that and start. If I want to change it, I'll change it. And I just, I, I just never did. And then I, and shout out you did it. Cause I was like, like for a lot of people, their stories don't last that long. I know. And this is year what? 20 what? This is year, I started in 2012. And where were you selling the clothes out of? My apartment. And who was your clientele? Like, was it like the Black Chinas and stuff? No, it was all Terrell sisters from 56th Street. All the Hoovers. Yeah. <laughs> so it was all of them, and they came, and I remember going downtown and buy one pack. So when you buy one pack, it's six pieces, two mediums, two smalls, and two larges. So I buy one pack of everything, and I would tell them, like, hey, I have these new clothes. Like, come look. And then I'd have one small each, like, on a, on a rack. And 
they came like 10 bitches thick over one day and they bought every fucking piece I had. And I was like, oh my God, I have nothing left. I was like, they bought everything. And then I like counted my money that night. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go buy some more. And I did that and then they would tell their friends and then that's just how it happened. And I was like, I have to get a website or something so people can, other than the people that know me, can shop from me. But even that was dope, right? Like seeing how much like the ghetto came through kind of. Yeah. But now I'm like, y'all fucking have been here from, lived here y'all's whole life and y'all never thought to go downtown and buy some clothes and. You know what's crazy? That that's why your shit's so successful though because. You thought, like, it's crazy to think that you thought outside the box. Yeah. You know what but I mean? you know what? I didn't. I didn't. I was shopping at the swap meet, and I asked this Asian lady, I'm like, where do you get all these clothes from? Like, do you make them or, like, what? She's like, no, San Pedro, San Pedro, go, go San Pedro downtown. Yeah, 14, in between 14 and 15. Yeah, I'm like, you'll find some. I'm like, okay. And I wrote it down, and I'm like, she told me to go here. I told Terrell, she told me to go here, and we went down there on Saturday. Everything was closed. I'm like, oh, this bitch lied. Like, nothing's happening. Terrell's like, no, it's just a Saturday. Let's come back on a Monday. On a Monday, shit was popping. All the shit was up. Mannequins outside, clothes everywhere. I'm like, this is what she was talking about. And when you're picking out girl clothes, are you thinking something that you would look good in? Or maybe like, okay, even though I might not look good in this, a big girl might. Even if I not look good in this, a really skinny girl would look would look good in this. Or you're just choosing shit that you like and expect kind of. Yeah. I mean, I was just choosing shit that I thought was cute and hope to sell it. I still do that to this day. Okay. So I'm like, I just hope I can sell it. I think it's cute. And at that time, I was wearing every single outfit I had, and I would put it on every day. That was my job. Put it on every day, do my hair, makeup, take a picture, and try to sell it on Instagram. Fire. And that's what I did. And it worked. And it clicked. And then I started making, like, custom stuff. I started making my sweatsuits. And um, that that hit. And then I had made, like, a Barbie sweatshirt. And Nicki Minaj wore it. That sold crazy. That was like 2012, 2013, right when I started. And then, and then this is kind of Tyrell, kind of like pulling his favors, like, "Hey, my girl." Or you or, know what? Or, no, th- <clears throat> no. No, okay, it wasn't like that. Or they knew you. Or like, did they kind of already know you because, oh, you're the homie's girl. But then, oh, she doing her shit. That's your fly. Let me get some. Yeah, I think it was just Nicki Minaj stylist. Like, I never, I never really talked to Nicki. Like, I met her with Tyrell and yeah. stuff, but I never talked to her like that. But. Yeah, stylists would start hitting me like, oh, Nicki Minaj wants this on Instagram. I'm like, wait, what? Nicki Minaj wants this sweater? I'm like, okay. So I sent it to her. I still have one till this day because I'm like, I'm just going to keep one just because Nicki Minaj wore it and yeah. that's just forever. That's, like, that's legendary. Yeah, and she has a picture in it and I sold so many of those fucking sweaters. And that's the Barbie? It's a regular ass Barbie from Google. You can find her on Google and I had printed it on a sweatshirt. Yeah. Wow. I probably could have got sued from it, but I never did. Yeah, fuck it. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. And when did it become like, okay, obviously Nicki Minaj was like a staple, like, oh, Nicki's like, you feel me, want this shit, but like, when did it just like, boom? I would say 2015 is when I made my most, like when I first started making a lot of money, 2015. And then I had got my store... Uh, my first store in 2017, but in 2015, Last Kings was in, the, was in the store that I was in now. Yeah, that you're in now. And then they had this back space, which is like my warehouse right now. I don't yeah. know if you ever been in there, but Terrell's like, we have this space that we don't use, so maybe you could do like pop ups, sell your stuff that's not selling online or whatever. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do that. So everything that I wasn't selling online, I hung up in this place, and I was just in there, and I would put on Instagram every day, like, hey, we're in here, like, you know, pop up from here, here. We just did it for, like, a weekend, and then people actually came in. And we're like, okay, people are, it's like a dirty-ass warehouse. Like, it's not a store at all. But I'm like, girls are coming in. So then I started having to make it into a store. I'm like, okay, I got to get some mirrors. I got to get some more racks, and I got to make a fitting room. And I kind of have made my store out of that empty space that he had. And then this is rent-free? Rent free. I didn't pay a dime. For Tiger's not tripping. <clears throat> no. No, hell no. They never said anything to me. Yeah, for let your girl do your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They That's... weren't using it. They paid for it, but they weren't using yeah. it. Yeah. So I had made so much money, and I was like, okay, I need to actually open a store. So uh, my business partner at the time was like, there's a store for rent down the street. Let's go look at it. Melrose. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm like, okay. 
And I went to go look at it, and the guy was like, okay, it's going to be 3500 a month. Um, you know, you, you guys can take it today. I'm like, okay. So I filled out all the stuff, whatever. We had it within, like, a week, and I'm like, fuck, we have a store now. So I just threw whatever I could. They had already had, like, the hanging racks. They had already had a register in there. It was already pretty much laid out for me. So you just needed to put clothes yeah, in that motherfucker. I just needed to put clothes in there. So I switched from the warehouse to this store, put my clothes in there, and then those were some of, like, my best years. Wow, and that's my, crazy because the way your store is now, which I've been there, I want to go by, you feel me, for some of my biddies during Christmas time last year. <laughs> and shout out the girls' tour sweats, my favorite sweats. I know, I saw you. I'm like, dude, no loves his girls' tour sweats. Bro, I rock those shits, bro. Damn, the the I have the I have the the white ones, the ones that have like the UPS thing, uh -huh. kind of like the, the logo. logo, the orange ones and the blue ones, and then I have the switch ones, which are, is the same material, right? Yeah. Fire, bro. And see, like, I'm like, damn. I started first selling sweatsuits. That was my number one seller. Sweatsuits, I had like had my seamstress lady put like a leather at the bottom so it was like a cuff so it wasn't like wide leg. Yeah, yeah. I was buying like pro club sweatsuits, whatever they had downtown. Yeah. Put in a leather cuff and put an elastic on the waist. And that's kind of how I like made a name for myself. I was selling so many of those sweatsuits. And then I had sold so many of those logo sweats too. I'm like, is sweats like my thing? Like, or I don't merch? know. Or like, but is there no girl merch? Like, what is it? But they always cause, hit. That's because, I mean, I think, like, you know how they always say, like, everything comes back around? So I think fashion is, like, slowly coming back around where, like, if you have some fly sweats and you're rocking with some with some cool shoes, it's like, that's, like, the thing, right? Yeah. So I think when I when I got those sweats, everybody's like, why do you wear them all the time? I'm like, motherfucker, they comfortable. Yeah. And I'm a big motherfucker, so I can't sleep with a lot of clothes on because I'm a sweat. Yeah, me too. but with but 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 with those certain sweats, you because you, you could rock them like like I be going out to eat with a bitch in my sweats, and it, but it looks fly because of the design and it's placed well. And yeah. then people always trip yeah. out like, "What's girl story?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's um, I'm like I don't know exactly what the girl story is, but I ask you about that. But I'm like, oh, the hot me Sorella, and they're like, oh, what that's th those sweats are from there. I'm like, yeah, but they look like boy sweats. Yeah, they but but well, that's kind of like how Sorella was because me and my business partner she was like tomboy and i was like girly so yeah. we kind of like meshed well so we brought both of our like visions to life and then i just started kind of being like a tomboy too and it just took over me and now i'm coming back to a girl i like both so that's it sorella is just like a good mix of like tomboy girl girly girl whatever you need yeah and that's just what it, it always was yes yeah, so i remember I, I was like oh these are fly and then even um Last Christmas, I bought the the bedazzle shit you did mm -hmm. for one of the babies, and she was like, "Where'd you get this from? This shit fly." And I and I just sent her the page, and she's like, "Oh my god!" Like I feel like people trip out like how much your shits like. I'm like, bro, this shit. I, I didn't know. I'm not a girl, so I wouldn't know. But like my sister and my homegirls, like one of my sister's homegirls, like knew everything about you. Yeah, it's and so I'm, cool. And I'm like, and I'm like, who's that? She's like, the, the guy you sit next to's girl, like. I'm like, the guy sitting next to him, I'm like, hey, D? She's like, no, the other one. I'm like, oh, T-Rail, stupid ass. <laughs> and then I remember, like, doing, like, my whole research and everything. Can you remember the first time, like, a celebrity celebrity walked in there and just bought a gang of shit? Yeah. Um, who was the first celebrity? I think it was Halsey that walked in the back where my warehouse is now. And she had spent like fifteen hundred dollars in the Damn. store. And I'm like, who is this bitch that spent this much money? And Chelsea was like, it's Halsey, cause like my sister Chelsea had just moved out here to like help me with Zoe. I had just had yeah, Zoe just in 2015, Zoe. Mm -hmm. and she had uh, moved out here to help me with Zoe. But my store was getting so busy, I needed her help. So she was there with me, and she was like losing her mind, cause she's from Texas. This is like her first celebrity she's ever seen. Who's like, Halsey? Hey, that's Halsey. She's a white girl, a uh, white artist. She's a she's a singer. Oh, okay. But she's popping like in the white community? Yeah. She's huge now. Okay. Oh. I mean, she was big then when she came in, but now she's like like like, like arena vibes? Yeah. Holy shit. So she had came in and she had spent that much money. And I was like, at first it was just like it started with all like Terrell's friends. It was like black girls, like that was my clientele. Ghetto. I knew my ghetto. <laughs> and I was cool with that because they were spending the money. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, the ghetto gonna pay. But then I started hanging out with Kylie and she came into that store too. She came into that warehouse too. And this is like A-list, like the this is like the movement where the car oh yeah, 2015? Yeah. 
Oh, the Kardashians is stupid booming. Well, it was Kylie when she was barely booming. Okay, okay. It was the beginning of her booming. But I guess, like, people started seeing, like, oh, Kylie is was in there, or Kylie wore it, or something. And then I started getting a lot of a lot of white girl, a lot of white clients. And then and then when Halsey walked in, were you just like I didn't Hi. know who the hell she was. But your sister was kind of like after. She had told me after. You're like, we ain't saying nothing. We should have got some pictures and shit. Yeah. I'm like, why you didn't tell me? She's like, well, because I really wasn't sure because she had a wig on and this is this. And but was she she walked in like solo or there was like security? Whatever. No, solo. Her and a boy. And she was just. Racking it up, running it up. And then I was like, okay, my clientele is cool. Like I have all, you know, a mix of clientele. They all love this. Yeah. And that's what I would so like I didn't go to school for fashion. I didn't study it. I don't know what to do the right way. Or I don't. I didn't go to school for business. I didn't go to school for none of this shit. Mm. I just bought clothes off the street and started selling them, and I just kept doing it. And it just turned around, and I had made so much money, and I'm I'm just still doing it. Like I never. It this was never supposed to happen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that like when you have a because like obviously when you're when you're growing up, I don't, I don't think your dream was like oh I want to be a fucking I didn't have no dreams. Okay, but then when Sorella came, you kind of, it, it kind of turned into your dream. Yeah, I mean, I'm <laughs> like, this is the only thing I have. Like, this is good for me. Like, you know, and clothes never dies out. Never, you never. Always need you always away, need right? clothes. So, okay, so you're back there. Hazi goes in there. You have the new store that you're 3,500. Who's the first person to walk in there? Famous? Oh God, I don't know. Oh, oh. Did so many people. Okay, what about like? The first year where you kind of like freaked out, like, damn, they're asking me for some clothes. Well, you know, I never actually worked my store. I always had somebody work my store. <laughs> Are you lazy? I never worked. <laughs> well, because we have two bit, we she, have two parts. We every have, time I go there, she's never there. Because I'm like, people know me. You t- people know me, and I also had other shit to do but sit at the register all day. That's like, true. Because I had online. So I don't know your workers, they be walking I around kids. and shit. So, like, it was always my sister and then my business partner. They would work the store. Yeah. So, they, like, really got to see the people. Uh, I really. Because I've seen things like, 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 like Megan the Styling gave y'all a shout out. Yeah, in Vogue. Megan and I was Stalling like, that's fire. Out. Like, yeah, we've had some really big moments in Sorella that I'm so proud of and that I need to fucking you need make to a do- scrapbook of because yeah. I'm going to forget this when I'm older. What is, like, your, what is, like, your, the one where you were, like, Damn, we did this shit. Oh my god, I don't know. Because Nikki so was, many. but was like the one where you kind of like, when somebody asks you about your story, you're like, oh yeah, well you know who wrote my shit, you know what I mean? Damn, I don't know, do know? I don't want to leave anybody out. But uh, it was this one guy that came in. Oh, the basketball player Denzel, not Denzel. Denzel Washington. I was like, he would dye his hair crazy. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman walked into Sorella? Dennis Rodman came into Sorella, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck is Dennis Rodman doing in here? I'm like, wait, <laughs> He dad. wild, though. He I wild. I called my dad. I'm like, wait, don't you know him? Is he a basketball player? And he was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was like Dennis, Dennis Rodman! Rodman store. The Chicago and he had, like, bo- bought some accessories. He bought, like, a hoodie or whatever. And then, like, CeeLo had came in. Uh, Lana oh. Del Rey had came Lana in. Lana Del Rey's no, crazy. The biggest one was probably, who's that girl? Oh, my God. She just, huh? Yeah, Angelina Jolie. And oh, that was that's next level. That's A list, A list food. That was like, currently. That, that was like last year. A list, that and actor, right? Yeah. yeah, she was probably she like a daughter. She in. was probably like a Jeffrey Epstein's island popping food. Yeah. Like she, like dog, that's famous food. I'm joking. Obviously, it's a fucking joke. I'm a comic asshole. <laughs> Even Heather understood the joke. And you guys are ah, I'm like. <laughs> And then, with but the, I'm that, just like, dang. Did that trip? You weren't there though. See, you gotta be there for shit like I that. Know. Because imagine like her, like just walking around, like, oh my god, her daughters are going crazy in your store, and then your your workers are like, oh shit, fucking Angelina Jolene. That's I crazy. I'm, I I need a picture of Angelina Jolene. She walking to my store. I know like, it's tight. It's tight. But I'm like, wow, the younger generation really loves Sorella, and it's just like there's, it's just like a cool place. To find cool shit. That's just all I ever wanted. Just like a cool place that has cute clothes that aren't aren't expensive. And facts. And shout out you because you even have Lokes in there. Mm-hmm. You got Lokes in there. Um, oh, Jizz, Jizz, you bought you for you bought the the earrings, huh? That said, baby girl. Oh, oh the suit. You bought the suit. Yeah, we went Aww. in there. Yeah, because they had like a pop up down the street. And we're like, 
I was like, I need to get some more sweats, dog. So I went over there and got some sweats. She got some shit too. But the little bitch at the moment I was like, I got it like the baby girl ones. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this should fly. <laughs> and then you got the looks. The fact that Dennis Rodman worked in there, I'm not even surprised because he's wild. That feel like went to an NBA game with a dress on. Yeah. Like he's a wedding wild. dress. Yeah. But I just always, because I couldn't afford clothes at the time. Like I was mm -hmm. shopping at the swap meet. So I wanted to be able to be cute because I had to wear these clothes. So I wanted to be able to be cute, dress like on trend and fashionable for the low. So that's like why I started Sorella. And I never wanted to have it like crazy, super high end or like something that you couldn't get or you couldn't afford. It was just cheap clothes. You could feel cute and confident. And comfortable. Feel like a baddie when you walk out. Yeah, comfortable. And like that was it. And I've just kept doing that. And what was like, um, what was I going to say? Fuck, I had a really good question in my fucking head. When 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 all that's going on, Tyrell's still with Tiger. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of like now you're finding like oh I got my own shit going. Oh yeah. Like yeah, for go go ahead. Yeah, because even when I did have Sorella, like when I was just online and stuff, like I wasn't making that much money. Like you were making ends meet, but not enough. Not enough. I mean, I wasn't making enough for myself, but not enough to make like a dent in any bills or anything. And so I would ask him, like, oh, I need money, like, to pay for this. Because I was even coming up short because I was spending all my money. Like, I was making it, and I didn't save it to make sure I could pay my rent. Like, this is all new. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, I can't pay my rent. I don't have no money. I'm paying me and my business partner out. We're big balling. So Terrell's like, wait, y'all don't have no money to pay y'all's rent? And he would always be there to make sure that my rent was paid, my lights were on. He'd always, like... Pull when I when I came up short, he so always pulled through. So at first he wasn't there twenty four seven. No. Him and Tiger break up. Okay, before we get to that, <laughs> when you start beefing with Black China, and you said some fucked up shit. I was looking at the videos. Y'all was wild with each other. She was very mean to me. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? She was very rude. She was very hateful towards me. But that was even before you guys were even cool. Like, she was already hating you before y'all were cool? No, no, no. We loved each other. We loved each other when we first Our besties, met. Are you guys were like, our boyfriends are best friends? Yeah. Let's be besties. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Our boyfriends are best friends. We're going to be best friends. And that's how we were. And this was, this is sorry, but you already have Sorella. No. I don't have Sorella yet. When you guys start beefing it? Before uh, Sorella or after? After. Or after. Okay. It was after, right? Okay. Because she was a little salty. But see how the tables turned because when she came around, I was salty because she got all these wigs and all these bags and clothes and shoes. I don't have nothing. So when I start my own business, she's salty. Bitch, you got a business. You're making this. I need to do that. That's exactly what she, I'll never forget. She told me, I need to do this. I'm going to start that too. I'm like, in my, in my heart, I'm like, bitch, you don't need to start shit. You have money. You have a nigga. You have this big house. You're driving Bentleys. You don't need this. And, and, don't and, try to step on my toes and start something. And this is when you're in the warehouse or you're in your own store? A warehouse. Warehouse. So she hating while you in the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, and she was like, I ain't going to have no online business. I'm going to have me a real business. I'm going to have, oh, she's like, I'm going to start me a hair shop. I'm going to start a shop. I'm going to have an actual business. I was like, okay, go do that. So she start, She got a hair shop and she started her, 80. it was called 88 Finn. And she started that and she started to sell clothes. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to hate. It's money for all of us. Start your business, whatever. But then after that, it's just like Heather was on a come up. Heather was never come up. Heather was fat. Heather was broke. Heather was this nigga's bitch. Heather's a second baby mama. Whatever she called me in Holy those stories shit. or those Snapchats, yeah, that's I, what Heather was. So when Heather started to shine, Heather started to lose weight. Heather got her body done. Heather had her own money. It was a problem. Yeah, I, 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 I was, I was like watching a gang of shit, and I was like, damn, they were mean as fuck to each other. Like they, cause I mean, obviously, she has a history of just being a wild card. She's and the, wild. And the stories we've heard, Tyrell was like, dog, like. It was like it was like little bros, like crazy girlfriend that we kind of had to deal with. And I'm like, well, fuck, Nick. Like, but I'm not gonna say she was crazy all the time. At a time, she we were like really good friends, and that was my friend. She had taught me a lot. She was really nice. We I we experienced so much stuff together. We had great times. Did she ever try to convince you to strip? 
No. Never? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, you know, she's She tried to convince me to do other stuff that I didn't agree with. Um, and I'm just not that type of girl. So that kind of like made her mad too because she's used to getting her way. Well, yeah, because she used to be, she used to be the bitch. The, that bitch. Yeah, like she used to be in like the baddie in the room. Yeah. So when there's she's a nut, mad. I mean, she's, but she's used to have other, she had all the girls around. She'd have all the bad bitches around. Yeah, but like, okay, like, this, I, I mean, obviously you're sis, so if, you, if it's black fight, trying to fuck her, you know what I mean? I'll give a fuck. But I'm like, when I'm looking at this video, I'm like, like, bitch, you're not that bad. Like, But sure. do you see the difference? Like, like, how I looked in those Snapchat videos, you can see how I yeah, looked. Yeah, you look like a white girl. And how she, I was a white girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's I was a white girl. <laughs> Everybody's like, you sound like you're white trying to be hood. You're like, you're like, I was. You're like, I'm mixed, motherfuckers. Well, my mom's white, what? my yeah. dad's black, but I grew up in the suburbs. My dad put me, like, we lived in the ghetto, but my dad drove us to school. We'd have to wake up at 4 a.m. Oh, to be to school at 7 a.m. on time because he wanted us to go to school in the suburbs. So I did kind of grow up white. And sh like everybody's like, oh, you sound like you're white trying to take up for yourself or whatever. Like, I was. Mm. She was a ghetto-ass bitch. Like, ghetto. Ghetto from the street. She had a hard life, you know? Yeah. So everybody's different. Everybody's different. Uh, during that, during those stories and shit talking, were people taking your side or her side? Uh, at the time, nobody was taking my side because she was the number one bitch at that time. Everybody loved China at this time. At this time. Everybody loved her. And what I was saying, I was crazy. Because I said, this bitch is on drugs. She's wild. She's crazy. She has, she ruins every relationship that she's in and she does. And it's a proven fact to, to this day. No, nah, you were like, you were like, bitch, I'll fuck you up. Come to my house. I was like, damn, the Hoover came out of Heather. She never came to my house either. So I don't know where she got that from. Like, I'll pull up to your house. Girl, you were never outside. I, was, I would have been out there. Ter you think Terrell would have let this bitch pull up to my no, house? Okay, okay. So this is. So this Terrell would have been like, you take your ass out there and you go get beat up if that's what you're going to do. My thing, okay, this is my thing, right? In my head, I'm like. Or you go fight. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, Black China's not from LA, right? No, she's from DC. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, one, you're talking to a motherfucker that okay, the homie's wild, but he's also from a really wild hood that loves them. And they she knew that. And I'm like, talk, you testing a lot of waters right now. And this is a little after Zoe? Yep, right. So I'm like, you play, you're not just only playing with his wife, but you're talking about pull up to his house where his daughter lives. I'm like, I know this fool is not having it right now. In the story, I, I was reading the comments. They're like, how is a man going to get into girl beef? And I'm like, oh, the homie would have packed out Black China weather. <laughs> Ter oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So Terrell, I'm like, like, he's just that type of man that, yeah, that he's going to have my back no, no matter, matter what, what. Yeah. No matter what, if I'm right, wrong, or whatever, he's not about to let here sit here and let me get beat up, sit here and let me get packed out, sit here and let me get talked too crazy. Yeah, I think we asked him, I'm like, hey, Tiro. Heather, your mom's are getting out. What you doing? He's like, who's right? I'm like, Heather. He's like, I'm packing all moms. <laughs> and I'm like, you stupid motherfucker. So what initially, okay, she was hating, but what was, well, what was it that triggered you to start doing stories back and forth? Oh, my God, Duno. That's so funny because did you see it circulating on TikTok now? It's back. It's, it's on TikTok right now. Uh, okay. Going viral. I seen it. I seen it on TikTok, but I was like, but I feel like people know it's old. No, they do. But it's just like, oh, well, this it's, is. Yeah, somebody fucking brought it on TikTok. So probably new people are, I don't know. But I, I know one thing. If you didn't have a Snapchat that night, you made one. Because me and China had that motherfucker lit. Oh, we wait, had wait, that if, you, if you go look it up, it's, a, it's on the Shade Room YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, like it's on the Shade Room YouTube. We had that shit lit. And it was only on Snap. And Snap was just so lit back in the day. Oh, it's so lit. That was 2015? It was probably like 16. Oh, yeah. I was like in juvenile hall and Because Zoe, I, was... I had just had Zoe. Yeah, probably 2015 or 16. But what was but it that triggered thought, you? She thought that we were talking about her hairline. Because her, <laughs> her and T-Raw had just got it done. But we were clowning about it. I just told this story today. But, but so you guys were clowning on some homie shit? Yeah, like we were just playing on Tyga. He was clowning Tyga. But but him and Tyga get along like that. No, yeah. They knew. Like they, like... Terrell, Tiger doesn't care what Terrell's saying. Terrell crazy. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But he, I guess they had got it done at the same time or like she had got it done right after him or Girls something. Girls get hairlines then? 
She did. I don't know if girls do it. But I've she did. never heard that. Yeah, she did. Would you get your hair She like was that? wearing wigs. Some, I, I guess she was wearing so much. Wi- I would. Yeah, but you. I was contemplating it in Turkey, but I'm like, I'm not trying to shave my whole head. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, you would have came back, but we would have been on your I ass. Know. I'm like, I'm not doing it. But at the time, she was just like wearing all wigs. I don't want to speak a lot on her, though. But she was wearing wigs a lot at the time, and so she, uh, her edges were like gone. So she got a hair transplant to make her hair grow again. Yeah. But uh, she thought we were talking about her. But it was an initially towards Tiger. It was initially towards him. Like Terrell joking with him. But she got mad and. We had never, like, we had never, she had got mad at me for something, and we never, like, really hashed it out and, like, really talked about it. If she got mad at me or something, we just stopped talking. So this was, like, our time to, like, really, like, express all of our feelings towards so, each so other. So it triggered her, and she brought up the old shit. Yeah. It triggered her, and she brought up the old shit, and then it, it brought, it triggered me. I brought up the old shit. And we just were going. That was like our only time to like really talk to each other about, you know, why we don't talk anymore. Or, Mm -hmm. you know, that was the first time us talking since we were like, we're not going to be friends anymore. Wow. And then. And I never went over there ever again. Terrell would go over there with Tyga and everything. And I'm like, I'm not going. I would stay away. Tyga never asked. Nothing. But he did call that night. He apologized? No. He never apologized, but he called that night and he was like, stop fucking talking to her. Like, leave her alone. Terrell, he, cause when Terrell got on there, was like, hey, bitch, I got whatever he said. Yeah, he's just, he's like, Tyga hey, was bitch, like, on groove, bitch. Yeah. I was like, chill the fuck. Tyga's like, no, don't do that. That's my baby mama. And he took up for her and Terrell's like, okay, I was wrong for doing that. And we just, it just ended, but. But were you and Tyga cool after? Um, I I didn't I didn't really I wasn't a fan because I'm like why would you not take up for me either like why would you not say I know that this is your girlfriend yeah, and and and, and your plus baby mama. mama and I know you know you're supposed to be on her side but like you're not even gonna talk to me he just was like I don't he's famous and rich he's like what is this shit like you know like he's like what is this drama I don't care about it I have to go do this I have to go do that like get over it he never really like cared about it much. But he also knew who he was with. He knew who he was with. And it's a wild card. And it's a wild card. Fuck. I can so then a couple months after that, shit went down with them too. And then well, you think that kind of initially like like triggered that? No. They've been going through it. And it just finally was just like, man, it just kind of quits, dog. Was, yeah. He was really good. He was really good to her and she, and she was good to him. But they he did fucked up shit, which led her to do fucked up shit. And it just didn't work. Wow, and can you remember the day where he came and was like, "I'm done with this motherfucker. I'm doing. I'm. I'm helping you with Sorella." Terrell. Yeah. Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday, and my heart was broke. Like I fucking broke up with Tiger or something. <laughs> like, and, and Terrell tried to call him. He's like, "I'm just gonna call him one more time, and like see what he's talking." But Terrell had before this. Terrell had like already been trying to separate himself because he's just like. I'm not really making this much money over here. Like, I could be doing this with you or I could be doing something else. And, like, he had hired a manager. He had hired, a, he had hired like, all these people, the more and more famous that he got. But so Terrell really wasn't needed anymore. So he was just, like, a friend that was just around. Yeah. So he's just like, I don't need to be here. He has all these other friends with him. Terrell had set all his friends up. Terrell's best friend was his bodyguard. Like, it was all Terrell's friends over there with him. So Terrell's like, he's good. That's me over there. Like, he's with me, even though I'm not there. So he's like, I can step away, and I don't have to go everywhere with him. And I had just had a brand new baby, so I wanted him with me too. And he was like, I'm just going to stay with you. And then that's what we did. Damn. Um, do you remember the day when um, Charlamagne called you guys out? Uh-huh. Were you like, were you like, man, fuck this bitch ass? Thing. Yeah, I'm like, I'll fucking fight this fool right now. Like, he <laughs> had me so mad because, like, he made me seem like I was really a weak ass mom, like a weak ass bitch out here having my baby at a concert, like, just careless, like I'm drunk or something. Like, I don't know. He just made me sound so bad. And I'm like, it wasn't even like that. This is our life. 
I had just had a baby. I'm still trying to be in the mix. This is my first kid. Like, I'm bringing my kid with me. I'm going to the show. And I'm bringing my kid with me. She has earplugs in. She's fine. This is my kid. You know? Yeah. And that's just how I looked at it. And, I, I mean, it wasn't never, I don't know. It never really was, like, bad to me that I had my kid at a show. Mm-hmm. And the next day when I woke up, I was all over. This is my first time ever in the blogs like this. I was on Perez Hilton. I was on E! Everywhere. 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 I'm like, wait, what? Over me bringing Zoe to a show? And then I was on Charlemagne. He called me. He gave he gave Terrell the donkey of the day. Donkey of the day, yeah. For taking up for me. But, yeah, it was, it was just weird. I was like, I was kind of thrown off. I'm like, wow, this shook the world that much that I brought my kid it's ain't y'all's kids, it's my kid. Yeah. To a show, she had earplugs in, like she's fine. She didn't go deaf or anything afterwards, she's fine. Yeah, it's always fine. She's but, <laughs> I mean, Zoe's lit. She was with me, like, I didn't want to stop living my life. At, okay, what if I didn't have my baby? Then people would be talking shit too. You know? <laughs> like, I didn't have a nanny, I didn't have anybody to watch my baby, so my baby was coming with me. She was fine. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, but I'm like, dang, Charlamagne knows us. You're like, yeah, we live. Yeah, because we used to watch him. Like, I'm like, how wow. much did the shows go up on Sorella? After that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think much. You don't think much? Yeah, Charlamagne ain't that popping that motherfucker. You go talk shit about me, at least make something go up. Yeah. <laughs> and For real. Can you remember when he got hired on a jumper and you're like, like, how'd you feel about it? I didn't give a fuck about no jumper or <laughs> didn't care what it was. I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what is this? And he's like, I don't know, some uh, podcast shit I'm going to go do with AD and Pun. I didn't even know AD. He's like, I'm going to go do with Pun. I'm like, okay. AD swears he knows me, but I'm like, when did I meet AD? Terrell's like, you've met him. I'm like, I do not remember him. But I knew Pun. He's like, yeah, some shit Pun wants me to go do. I'm like, okay. And I remember the first time watching it, I was like, okay, this is cool or whatever. And I started watching it more and more. I'm like, oh, this is pretty big i'm like okay this is good for you but how fuck how's he coming home like babe i like this shit like uh the first day he came home he was like i was like how was he he was like it was cool he's like i'm gonna go back next week i'm like okay and then he came back that second probably the second or third time he's like i actually love this shit it's so easy i could see myself doing this like for the rest of my life it's so fucking easy yeah he talks so fucking much yeah it's like he's like meant for this, and I'm and I, that's when it started making me happy because I'm like, okay, you found something that you like to do because he was with just me, me for so long, mm-hmm. living my dream, like you know, Sorella, whatever, and I'm like, okay, this is so good for you, like you have something that you love to do, you know, it's kind of like somewhat like what you were kind of doing, you know, and you know, you know, it was cool. And then I think it's dope now seeing you guys doing like back on fig. And you guys get to do your own shit. But bro loves this shit. He's like, he loves it. <sighs> I'm it's studying. so easy to him. Yeah, and he's like, I be studying Destiny. I'm like, motherfucker, you be studying? Oh, yeah. He was studying last night for two guys that he has to do today. He's like, I have to study. I have two guys that I don't know shit about that I have to interview. <laughs> Dog, those are the worst. <laughs> yeah. When, when you have to, like, somehow, like, fucking, like, you, you get asked for an interview, but you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're like, oh, shit, I got to learn how to do this shit. Yeah. When um, did your family know that Terrell was a gang member when you got with him? Mm, no. Were you like, hey, mom, my man is from like one of the biggest and most hated gangs in Los Angeles, but I'm gonna go live with him. No, no clue. How lit was it when you went to the block? It was so lit. Right when I got off the airplane, you went to the fifties. I went straight to the fifties and stood there. <laughs> the thumbnail I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Heather talks about dating a Hoover <laughs> gang member. <laughs> it's gonna go. It's gonna go lit. But we were just sitting there, and then, like, we were there within, like, 10 minutes. So many niggas started pulling up. The whole street was full. I'm like, what is going on? And I guess he didn't go back as much because he was, like, always traveling and stuff. So he was, like, back, and, like, all his friends pulled up. And I'm like, wow. Like, this is – because I had seen him with the life with Tyga, you know? But you never seen him in the hood. No, never. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, everybody loves him. There's so many friends. Like, the whole street is full. So much orange. Yeah, and blue. (laughs) And I was just, like, so oblivious, like, kind of just dumb. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know. You didn't know that there could be a drive-by any second you might die. (laughs) No, fuck no. I didn't know where I was at. Now I know. 
You know, I know where I can and can't go. I know where I can stop at the gas station and where I can't stop at the gas station. But you station. were clueless when you could. 100%. I knew that there was Bloods and Crips because they have it in Dallas. My yeah. dad's like, don't ever go over here. Don't go here. Don't go there. So I knew, but out here it's like really real. Like out here it's very serious. For every block is a gang out here. Every block. I'm like, wait, 50. So you live on 54th or 56th and you can't go to 53rd or you can't go to 60? He's like, no, I can't go. I can't go past 56th Street. I'm like, why? <laughs> That's how he talks to yeah. me. <laughs> He's like, I just can't. And I'm like, okay. And I, and now, I mean, it's been 12 years, so now I know, which is why I fucking slipped up and said that. Oh, I'm, uh, yeah. Okay, when you said that, I was like... <laughs> because that's all he's ever called him. It's just, it's just. I think to him, he's 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 getting. I mean, he's been there, but like he's getting to an age where he's like, I don't it. give a it's fuck. So dumb. But but us growing up in LA, that's like that's why I like what um what Ju said. What he said. Like when I think because I think like somebody called out Tyrell because when he interviewed the Baby Stone Gorillas, he was using the C word loosely, and they were like, ah, oh, bro, like we get it, you an interviewer now, and you you. But you know the words still hurt, cause you know how they talk. And then T Prico's like, "Hey, bro, you talk to any of my homies right now? They gonna say that shit all day." Yeah. And I'm just like, and I feel, and and even like with us, like Latinos, like I have a lot of homies that are from different gangs, and the way they talk is just the way they talk, and it's just, it's, yeah. and it's just a custom. Like I could only imagine how much it tripped y'all that he said groove for everything. Everything. Hoove like, or groove. <laughs> and you were probably at first you were like, "What the fuck is you talking about?" Mm -hmm. But then you meet. The smacks and the SBs and the draining, you're like, oh, it all makes sense. Yeah. And, and then it's and it's just and it's just. Well, SB is his only friend that doesn't gangbang. Oh, SB is the only one. Yeah. Oh, SB is the only one. He's the only one. He's from where is it? Like where Dom Kennedy's from? Uh, from Lamar Park. Yeah. Lamar like, Park. He's from there. Yeah, they like a little more it. swaggy. Yeah, a little bit more like not into gang. Like hip. They're a little yeah. more hip. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tyrell's homies are grimy. Grimy. Where Tyrell's from is grimy. Yeah. And you can tell the difference. Oh, yeah. So SB was always just like, he never, you know, a cuz, never this, never wear the colors or the hats or anything in too much. He's always like the sports, like he's Terrell's sports friend. Like they talk about sports all day, music, and like that's the type of friends he is. And then but, he has a smack. And then he has smacks <laughs> and drays and nitties and all his friends. <laughs> They're fucking ghetto as fuck. Like, but I love them too so much. Yeah, because yeah. Because everybody thinks, oh, they're gang members, they're this. But the, those guys are like, they have the best heart. They would never. Well, to me, I'm like, he wouldn't hurt a fly. So I was like, you don't want to know what the fuck this nigga just Definitely did. Definitely like demon. <laughs> now, like, I met many. He's like, yeah, what up, bro? And then Tyrell like, shut up, bitch. That's because that's that's the good thing about Tyrell, and I think that's why that's why that's why I think like you guys make a perfect sense because bro's energy, he don't give a fuck. He so I'm don't. like, you guys being together is like is is like a real dope thing. But I used to I have to like make Tyrell give a fuck because he doesn't give a fuck so much, and it's like some of the stuff that we have to give a fuck about. It has to be serious, and you have to care. <laughs> yeah. Like everything, you can't just be like fuck everything and. And I look up to him so much, too, because I care about everything. I care about every little thing. I think everything through. I overthink. Like, I think the worst be for the best. Mm -hmm. He thinks everything is going to be okay. Like, with the Sorella shit and stuff that's going on, like, I'm like, my world's over. It's done. Whatever. If I didn't have him to be like, it's okay. It's going to be good. Like, we're going to get to the next step. Whatever. Like... I'd probably be back in Texas somewhere because he has like helped me through. Like even when I moved to Texas, I was shitting on my family. Like, yeah, I'm in this big ass house. Look at our pool. Look at this mansion oh, I'm in. I'm out family. of LA, you know, doing my thing, what it posting on Facebook. I still my posts on Facebook I've never deleted because I still like to see how I thought like back in I feel like my life was just like amazing. But then he humbled your ass. Yeah. Well then we got kicked out. I lived there for about Three good weeks of like shitting on everybody in Texas, and then we was out on the street. And Ty Damn. didn't tell us until that day that we had to leave. He's like, "We have to get out of this house. This is our last day." And I'm like, "Great, yeah." Good so luck. now what do we do? Because I don't have a dime. I done ran through my money in three months. That shit was gone. Ran through it. Uh, I don't have no money. We don't have a place to stay. Where are we gonna live? We can't live with him. He's going to live with his girlfriend at the time, and. uh I fuck with him, though, because he got us an extended stay. It's right on Ventura. I drive past it every single day right now when I go home. 
It's extended stay on Ventura Boulevard right across the street from Taft High School. And we lived in that extended stay for like three or four months. And Tyga paid that hotel bill every fucking day and never questioned it, never told us to leave. Nothing until he got a house and he was like, okay, y'all can come live with me at this house. Damn, shout out. And, 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 and then I think that's why I think, shout out for you for like sticking by a motherfucker that had it all and then went from one day to a hotel. Well, he never had it all. No, I, I know, but it seemed like that is what I'm saying. It did. Like, the dream was sold to you mm -hmm. at some point, and I think that's why a lot of thing around you strives around you. Like, that's why you're, like, yeah, the shit with Sorella happened with the store, but I'm like, in reality, it wasn't your fault. It just happened to be a little hiccup, and you guys happened to, you know, the bounce back is coming, and you guys are doing your shit. Back on fake is booming, so it keeps your mind off shit. Yeah. You feel me? You got three beautiful babies. Mm -hmm. And it's like everything is like it's it's like everything is like meant to be moving and grooving. Yeah, yeah it's moving and grooving. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for how was his homegirls when you put up to fit the fifties? There was no girls when I went. Actually, it was I went to the hood day and there was girls. There was really ghetto girls, <laughs> but everybody always loved me. Everybody just like even always, the ghetto girls. Yeah, they always loved me. That's and ghetto. And always fuck. so nice to me, like even till this day. Like, we went to go see one of his friend's moms that she passed away now, but uh, she was, like, on her last days, and this was, like, two, three weeks ago. And it was, like, all his homies out there, his friends, the girls were out there, and they were just like, when are you going to marry Heather? You better marry her. We love her. Like, hey, Groove, marry her, Groove. Like, <laughs> everybody just always loved me. Yeah. So I think he made people love me, too. That's That's... See, see, but that's always dope. And and I think, like, opposites attract. And I think that's what kind of, like... For sure, opposites attract. Did he pay for your lipo? Uh-huh. Uh, when did you get lipo? When I was hanging around China. You guys, Heather got lipo, like, at 12. No, I didn't. I was an adult. I was, like, 20. That's still really or young. Or 21. Though. Probably, like, 21. Yeah, my mom flew out here. She was like, you're getting what? And you're going under to do what? And she came out here, and she was with me the whole way. But I think it was just the politics of L. Everybody looks so good here. And everybody I was around looked so good. And, like, I was around China. She was all snatched. And she was, like, that was not new to her. So I would see her do it. I'm like, I want to do it, too. And I was just kind of, like, influenced to get it. But You regret it? I got ear lit. Yeah. I do. I regret wasting the money. I'll never forget. I saw Terrell count 40 racks cash to this doctor. And I'm like, for what? I could have done something else with that 40. Now I'm like, you know. You wish you could give the lipo back? <laughs> I wish. And was that, that was that your first and only surgery? Uh, No. You got more stuff than. I, it's, it's crazy because I don't even, like, I just always felt like, I mean, I've seen your weight loss journey for after you had the last baby. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, you killed it, like, right before, like, you went from the baby to, pff, how much, how much weight did you lose? Probably like 60 pounds. But I have I had lost 60 pounds before. When I had first met Terrell, I was, like, big, too. And then I had lost 60 pounds. Then the homie loved you big? Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's loved me through all my phases. I'm about to get on this stupid. And I had lost 60 pounds and on the yellow pills that China clowns me for. And uh, just working out every day at the 24-Hour Fitness in NoHo. And just, like, I didn't have no kids and... That's just like all I was focused on. Yeah. So I had did that and I got my boobs done like multiple times, but I've done I've never done anything crazy. I've never got a BBL. Would you? Yeah. But I don't need it. I've never needed it. Cuz you always you always were like shaped. I always had like a shape. I've always been a bigger girl, but I've always had like a cute shape. My family has this shape. Like I was just born with this naturally, thank God. Mm -hmm. And I never needed it, but to have, like, a perfect, perfect body, I think I would have to get, like, fat taken. and Because I want hips. I don't have hips. Like, I would want the hips, you know, the hourglass shape from the front, whatever. But, I mean, I'm not opposed to surgery. If you want to look good, go fucking look good. Go spend it all and look how you want to look and feel the best you want to look. Are you waiting Are you waiting for um for the next baby? I know the homie don't want to have none, but are you waiting just I to get... Yeah. Just to do it after that? Yeah. <laughs> I want to have one more kid, but I don't know if Terrell's going to let that go down. But is it like back to back? You're trying to have like another kid back to back? No. Like you're down for like next year? No. 
because I want to enjoy my body a little bit. I've never got to enjoy my body because I've had all my kids pretty much two, three years apart, two and a half years. So I kind of want to enjoy my body a little bit, you know? And then and then from there, just... Then when I'm old, or like... But I'm, I'm 33 this year, so I want to have another baby before I'm 35. So I have to get on it. Either 35 or 34. I need to have the baby at 35, so I'd have to get pregnant at 34. <laughs> so I only have one year, another one year to enjoy my body. Yeah, um, I think you'll be all right. I mean, I think you should. I mean, the more well, kids, fuck the it. merrier. Next year, dick. The more kids, the merrier. Yeah, 2023. Like, when we're old. 2023 is. is you're going to be happy that we have all these kids. Yeah, yeah. Like you know? 2023 is, is where. Okay, look, the baby's one, 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 when? She's one. She turned one September 19th. Yeah. September 4th. What am I talking about? Yeah, go. Just have another one, right? Like next month. And you'll have her by when? Uh, September again? <laughs> yeah. Dog, are you guys really going to get married, though? Bro, I don't know. Is Boosie really, really going to be there? Yeah, Boosie's going to be there. When we do get married, Boosie's coming. I'm Why Boosie? I just love Boosie. I, I grew up on Boosie. That's my favorite rapper. I made Terrell love Boosie. Uh, but I don't know. I just love him. Like, he just w had me so lit in my younger days. I don't know why. But, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get married or not. I'm not pressed on it. Do you see we're going viral on TikTok? Because I posted, like, a TikTok thing. Yeah, about you guys been together for 13 years, and this was... Yeah, because I already got, I like, like not a shit on your guys' relationship, but I already got an invitation for, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got it too, for Lana's wedding. I got it. Wow. Yeah, I got that. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for y'all invitation. I know. And I'm like, <laughs> she is really taking. She's like, Adam, you motherfucker. She go, you going to marry me, nigga. You going to marry me. I'm going to make sure of it. See, me, I'm like, okay, what are we going to do? We going to split the money? Like, what is it? You know, she she's like, I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend, I don't know what they got going on, but she's taking the, the first Yeah, it's like the forward. initiative. Like, yeah. she, she asking everybody for the numbers I got. The, I was like, yeah. See, she, she was, this is how I know I started having rich friends. Like, they sent me an invitation for a wedding in Italy. I, I was telling my mom, I'm like, hey, what do I do? Like, am I a dick for not going? Are you going to go, Duno? You're Are not you gonna going? go. I'm gonna. I'm planning on going. Okay, this is my thing. I've never been overseas. I have anxiety, oh. and like I don't know how I feel about. Like, how long is the plane right? You've been overseas. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's probably like 14 hours. Okay. Like if I go, I gotta like. I gotta make sure, like me, UAD, Tyrell, are all in the same riding place. together. Yeah, like we're in the same plane. That's what itinerary. I said. I'm like, we should all book our flights together, and we should do it now, so it's cheap. And then, and then, and then, and then, I don't know. Maybe we get like a big ass Airbnb or so. I don't know something. Oh, okay, not you stay in the hotel. But it's just, it's just, I've never done shit like that, and you guys are the rich couple friends that I have. So I'm like, okay, I'm just following the rich people's itinerary. Like, I got the bread. I just never, like, I've never booked a flight other than to like in the states. You're so young, though, Duno. I know that's. I why. wish I was this young and popping like you. I know, but see, that's why I'm like relying on you guys to carry me. Okay. Like, okay, do no. I'll we, make sure. I'll be like, do no, we going overseas. Like, this is this this what you're going to need. I'll book your flight, everything. You yeah, I'll, I'll sell you. Yeah, okay. I'll just sell you. You feel me? Invoice me. It, it don't matter. Invoice the LLC. We'll pay it off. But I'm like, I'm like, okay, like, I'm like, damn it. Because at first, I know they talked about it, like Florence, Italy, but then I was, I got the invitation. I was like, oh, you go to Florence, Italy. But I'm like, I'm like, I don't even know if Adam's ready. Yeah, I'm like, do you know? Adam, he don't know a damn thing. He don't know what's going on. Hey, that was just his accountant is just be like, hey, this is, yeah. this is Lena. He's just like a real man. And I don't know if I could have like a real man. Like a real man. Like this was clueless. Yeah, he don't give a fuck. <laughs> he, she's like, oh, I've been like, well, their baby's birthday. She's like, I've been setting up this whole party. He didn't help me with shit. He's sitting here watching interviews of himself. I'm like, see, that nigga would have been socked out. TV would have been ripped off the wall. That's he's all a white that. man. You gonna help me. We have people coming over here, nigga. Get your shit and help me. <laughs> like Terrell, I'm like, it's just people for everybody. Because I can't deal with a man like that. Mm-hmm. Talking about he don't know if the baby needs a bottle. Like, no. Terrell know when that baby needs a bottle, he'll change it. To Terrell, I could leave my baby with Terrell and... Yeah, bro, be up like at 6 in the morning. I'll be like, what the fuck is he doing, bro? He's so good. Like, he's like a dream. Yeah, and he also naps a lot, though. He's old. He does not nap. When does he nap? I'm, he doesn't nap. He'll be like, bro. He's just up. And he does it all with one fucking hand. Okay, that was my next question. He was handicapped when you met him? Mm-hmm. 
Were you kind of like, oh, this motherfucker a little handicapped? How are you going to defend me? No. Hell uh, no. I never felt like that. I just was like, I noticed it that night, and I'm like, he can't, he can't hug me certain ways, or he can't do this, can't grab my ass this way, <laughs> can't do this. And I kind of felt it. Yeah. But I never paid attention to it and never asked him. Never. Until I got to California. Until I moved here. And you were like, hey, bro, show your hand. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, does it not work or something? And he's like, yeah. And then that's when he told me. And he did not want to tell me. And he told me about the whole shit, his his accident or whatever. And then I respected him so much more. And then, like, he was like, I'm going to try to, like, get insurance. And nobody wanted to give him insurance because he had a pre-existing in- injury. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when you're already hurt, it's hard to get insurance. Yeah, facts. So... And then we started researching like how much it would cost to get it done. It's like a, around a hundred to two hundred thousand. And what do they the do with the head? So they're gonna take, and we can do it right now. Like we've had the appointment booked, everything. They're gonna take his nerves from his knee and put it in the nerves in his arm. So he's he's gonna have to like walk on crutches. And he won't be able to use... It's going to be, like, a lot of, like, healing. That's why he doesn't want to do it, because he doesn't want to be down. And then he's going to have to go to um, therapy therapy. and all that stuff. But they're like... And that's just hoping that it works. They don't even know if 100% it'll work. So he's cool with living with it. He's like, I can live my life like this. But I'm like, yeah, but you could also live your life like this and have your life back and your kids will have you. You know, you can play football with Zane, even though he could still do that shit right now with Zane. But I'm just like, maybe we should try. So we had the appointment and everything, and then he missed it because he didn't want to go. So I don't know if he's going to ever go or if he's just going to live with it, but he's lived with it for like 13 years now. Yeah, I don't think the homie's gone. <laughs> I, 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 I always wonder, like, you as a woman, like, with somebody, like, with everything you got going on, everything you've done, like, how, like, is it ever kind of like, like, babe, don't trip, I got it. Like, even though, yes, he could do it with one hand, it's like, like, babe, it's cool, fool. Yes, like, all the time. Like, handicap, it's, it's, it's all right, fool. Shut the fuck down, I got it. Yes, all the time, but he does so much. Like, I can't stop him. He was saying he was, like, fixing pipes in the, your backyard. I was like, what the fuck, fool? He does everything. He, yeah. like, doesn't let him stop him, which I love him so much for, too. And he never let it fuck with his confidence. I'm sure it did. It does fuck with his confidence. Mentally. Mentally. But, like, I never, he never showed me that, like, like, he doesn't feel like, oh, like, I'm a weak nigga, or, oh, I can't get this bitch, or, oh, like, you know, like, he's just, like, real handicapped in a wheelchair or something. Like, he's never acted like that towards me, which is I think is attractive, too. Fact. Because it's, like, he can do all this, you know, and not have, you know, not have this arm, and I don't know. He just never let it affect him, and I'd never let it affect me, either. Like, I never let it affect how I look at him or, like, what he can do or what he can't do. I never cared about that. That's fine. Okay, I need you to explain this picture for me. Okay. What was going on here, Heather? What is the this picture? Was this was plucked talk before plucked <clears> talk. <throat> oh, God. <laughs> that was when we Heather, were. Heather, what is going on our best here? lives. What is what is this dude doing? That fool was trying to be sexy. He was not sexy at all. <laughs> <laughs> we were at my house. We were at my house in Dallas. Yeah. You did that at your mama's house? No, I have my own house. He nasty for that. My dad like my dad had two houses, and he was let he wasn't paying the payments on this house, and letting me stay there. But I was paying his ass, but he wasn't making the payments. Uh, and then I had to get kicked. I got kicked out of the house because it went into foreclosure. <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck am I paying you $400 and you ain't fucking paying the rent? He's like, I'm paying the bills. How do you think the lights are on or whatever? So I have my own house. Me and my sister lived at that house together until it went into foreclosure. We lived there for like two good that years. That picture's crazy, Heather. What's wrong with it? But I feel like I should frame it. I'm not framing that. Because he looks a fool. <laughs> he looks like an idiot, dude. <laughs> he looks crazy. Because... He <laughs> He thought he was doing something out right there. He thought he was sexy. Oh, I'm surprised God. he wasn't like who? No. <laughs> so stupid ass. I'm like, what is going this on with you? I don't know. We were bored taking pictures. I don't know what we were doing. That's a mess. Oh That's funny as That's fuck, hilarious. man. Good old days. Good old days. Facts. That um, day, I'll never forget that day. He had just flew in 
And he had like this big luggage and he had bought me all these Steve Madden shoes. And it was like a whole luggage full of Steve Madden shoes. It was like eight, nine, ten different pairs of shoes. And at that time, a Steve Madden shoe for me was like a big deal. Yeah, Steve Madden is fire. Okay. And I was like, wow, what? This is like a red bottom to me at that time. And I'm yeah. like, oh my God, he brought me all these shoes. But yeah, that's just a memory from that day. Um, we about to end there, but do you ever see yourself living back in Texas? Yeah, I do. When I'm older. And and, and then let's say like, cause you're older and like I am older. I know you're older like in six years. I know. Like the four, like Zoe and them are gonna be what middle school. Zoe yeah. and Zane maybe middle school. I has. want to own a house and build my own house in Texas. That's a dream. And then would 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 you? What if they're like, Mom, we don't want to go. Like, mom, we don't want to go. Like, They're probably not going to want to go. And Terrell will never leave Los Angeles, California. He's not leaving here. So I would just have to have that as, like, my vacation house or something. Like and a summer we, thing? Yeah, summer thing. And then when we get older and our kids graduate or whatever, we can go back and live there when we're older. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Texas is, like, I feel like that makes sense with you. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like you don't like LA too much. I don't. I, I really don't use LA to my advantage. I don't go out. I don't hang out with anybody that's like super pop in here that yeah. I just need to be here for. I don't go anywhere. Like I'm really just in my house. I could really live anywhere. If I didn't have a store, I could run my business from anywhere. You know, I could do online anywhere. I could have a warehouse. I could move out of LA. I already want to have my warehouse in Texas because of the taxes are cheaper. If I establish, move my LLC to Texas, um. you know, I won't have to pay the Los Angeles tax. Yeah, we get taxed. We get taxed. Oh, crazy. Damn, I'm, I'm scared for this year. I'm like, ooh. And do your motherfucking taxes, Juno, because when I was your age, I, 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 I do didn't do my taxes. I didn't save one receipt. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was just spending money, making money and spending it, and that shit came and bit me in the ass, and I'm still paying for it till this day. No, I, I, I have like a whole little folder where I, from gas to food I spend, it just goes. Do you have a QuickBooks? I don't, but my mom kind of like, I'll just, I'll get, um, I'll ask for my statements at the end of the year, and my mom would just circle all the big important things like the office and like all oh, this and like yeah. cameras and like the equipment that I spent like 6000 on and fucking, well, I make like these for the invoice me, and yeah. then I save everything on my invoices and I fucking... From shoes to my 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 tax guy's like bro everything everything he's yeah. like he's like dog how much you think you like last year he was like how much you think you ate out like a week and I'm like maybe like three hundred he's like we gonna put four yeah and I'm like it's okay. so important I wish I knew that when I started my business my parents didn't teach me that I didn't learn it in school I didn't go to school for business I I mean I knew that I had to do taxes but I, I didn't care. I'm like, bitch, I'm making bread. I'm about yeah. to spend that shit. I don't give a fuck. I didn't have one receipt. They came back and they were like, uh, we're auditing you on this year, this year, this year. I got audited from 2017 to when I started my business, 2012, and I had nothing to show for it. You don't even want to know how much money they say that I owe. Wow. And I've been paying on it. When did I? my audit went through? My audit went through... 2018, I think, they finalized my audit, and they're like, hey, this is how much you owe. And just now, last year, I got a tax lawyer to fight it for me because I'm like, there's no way. I can't keep paying this because I made this money, but I I have the proof, but I don't have it for y'all to see. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't have the actual receipt to give you, but I know that I didn't just run up all this money. I have expenses. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? So I'm like, He's trying to fight it for me. He's like, oh, yeah, there's no, they did you so wrong. They just put a number on you. Like, they just put it on you and Damn. closed the case. And he's like, but I see this every day. The tax lawyer's like, I see this every day. So he's helping me fight it, and hopefully I get money back. Yeah, facts. Hopefully I get money back. So it's supposed to be done. It's They've been working on it for a year, and I'm like, uh, is it going to take this long? He's like, yeah, it takes like a year or two for us to like really yeah. figure it out. Top three things of running a store in a business that you think is the most important? Oh, my God. Number one is do your taxes. Make sure you have all of your receipts and you know your expenses. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Those are the top two. 
Do your fucking taxes. <laughs> make sure you don't run up all your money and make sure you know what you got to pay every month. <sighs> Golly. Golly. I hate paying shit. I, I really hate paying bills. I just, passion. you know what I have? I have like the auto pay shit. Uh-uh. I would never do that. And I'm like, just, I'll. Because uh-uh. if I ain't got it, you ain't getting it. <laughs> like, I'm not getting on no auto pay. I'll be on the auto pay and I just be like, I'll be looking at shit like on the first, I'll be like. <sighs> okay, or, when are you gonna move you and your mom out of y'all's apartment and get a house? Because I know you got bread. N- uh, next year, next year. But it's kind of hard because I'm still young, and last year was the first year where I made real money. Yeah. And I have good credit score, and but um, it's kind of hard when, like, I would my mom could co-sign, but her not being like her, her immigrant status. Yeah. So it, it, it gets a little more difficult, and um, and then now especially with the prices, it's like. Most likely they won't give me nothing unless I'm over the age of 25. And really? Like, yeah, bro. It's just like even like right now, even okay, I could show them my bank statement, how much I have in my bank right now, but a, a car insurance still won't rent me a car. Yeah. Because you gotta be 25. And honestly, if I'm being honest, my mom don't wanna leave. My mom's like, you leave. But she also, my mom's also like, stay here, save your money. Um, do you keep keep making your bread, and then when when you're ready to go, you can leave. But that's a blessing. But she's also like, I'm good right here. My mom's sick. My mom, my mom had it tough. The minute she turned, the minute I started doing what I could do in my career, which was only like two or three years ago. In reality, she was still, I was still like really depending on her, like rent wise. She bought me my laptop that I use to this day that gets uploaded and gets Aww. fucking emails. So she's good. My mom has a. My mom was blessed with her career. Her job is hard, like being a housekeeper, but she was blessed with the bosses she has. Yeah. So my mom's like, you can leave. My mom goes out every weekend. He goes she live did? it up. Like <laughs> th- like this month, so on, on Saturday, she stayed in Brentwood in the hills with yeah. her boss that she's been with for, tw- I was, she got with her when I was 20, when I was one. My mom's been here with 20, almost 23 years. Oh my God. The lady does, my mom's taking care of the house. Yeah. She, she my mom, she's like, you can leave. Yeah. She don't give a fuck. So you're gonna leave your mom? You wouldn't bring her with no, you? No, no, I'm I'm the goal for me, me and my me and one of my sisters is to get the house put under her name. We do the payments. She helps obviously with every like yeah. you know, but and then we have a house for the kids. Okay. Me and my sister, me and the sister that wanna get the house don't have kids, but like my niece and nephew come see grandma whenever they want. And yeah. It's just and then LA's expensive. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know the importance of buying a house. I just bought a house. I ran through so much money. That's what I'm like, don't run through all your money. Yeah. Then when it's you feel like, okay, I can finally buy a house, you don't have none. Yeah, that's you what know? my mom. That's what my mom was like. <laughs> my mom was like, save, let the recession hit, and then when everything goes down, we go get it, and then our three of us will call sign. And I bought my house literally right before all this started happening. So like right before it all. You were like, you, it was like good timing. Yeah, it was good timing. I'm happy that I did it just because I'm like, finally, I feel like I have something worth them. I don't have like I don't have anything paid off, but my Porsche Terrell went and got that for me, paid eighty thousand for it. I, I was like, Dang. I told him, I told, I told him when he was like, I was like, he, he was like, buy it off me. I was like, I'll buy it off you right now. He's like, nah. Heather said, never mind. Oh, he's a fucking liar. I swear to God, I was like, fuck, I got I, I, I don't know how much he said. I think, well, how much did he say? He, I don't know, but I don't want to sell it less than 18000 Carmax. Oh, okay, okay, look, look. Bullshit, he told me 20 I got 20 for you right now. Carmax wanted to give us 19s and some change. I told him, I told him 20 I was like, I got 20 for you right now. I'll give it to you for and then, I'll and then take his, it. his little bitch ass question me, he's like, you got 20 I was like, 20 right now. I don't <laughs> worry that shit, bitch. And he was like, Heather said, never mind. Oh! He I, wants to Heather, keep that car. Heather, I had 20 for you, Heather. I, I had 20. I would have that shit. You can have it. No, that car has a lot of... Fuck uh, that. I'm giving you 15 now. You trying to play me. <laughs> yeah, go get a new car. It's old. It's a 2012. It's still in great condition, though. I love my Porsche. And when How many miles that shit wrong got? with it? I don't know. I don't pay attention to that. Not a lot, though. Not a lot. Like 76,000. What? For a Porsche? I'm a taking 2012 that. 2012 Porsche, I think... And um, every time something breaks on it, Terrell goes gets it fixed. And it's like, it's in perfect condition. Look at how they're trying to sum the car right now. It is? <laughs> yeah. I told no, them 20. That's a good deal. Because CarMax wants to get, he's like, I can get like 40 off on the street. You're I'm not like, finna get, uh, no, maybe. Maybe to a nigga that want to just Because it got flex. rims on it. Oh, like, yeah, it's, it's not, fly. I've seen it. Yeah, it's, it's not like the basic uh, tires. Um, <laughs> it's all sitting low. But... That car is special to me because when he first started making money with 
Last Kings. He went and deposited 80 racks. That's most money I ever seen in my life. I'll never forget that day. I'm like, we gonna get in trouble. I'm like, I can't, you're, how, why did you transfer me this? Like, we're gonna get in trouble. Like, is it okay? Like, I never knew what that much money was. Like, 80,000, yeah, 80. like, what is that? Yeah, the first time I seen 20 in my bank, I was like, Oh my God, this and is so mom, much money. Cause look, my mom, me, like, even like my, my, my name account, like when I got my bank account, I was, I was like 17. Uh -huh. So it was under my mom still. Me and my mom kind of like, I'm going to oversee my money. My, yeah. my, like, my, like, my, my real name money. Yeah. But then dad, I leaked, my stupid ass leaked dad to my LLC because it's like, you know, I'm kind of like the employer. I work for the homies. Uh -huh. <laughs> she was like, she was like. Your LLC is called the homies? Oh my that's fire, God, that is yeah. so, so tight. Like, so she was like, hey, um, <laughs> she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, she's like, pay for the groceries. And, but I'm like, but me and my mom, we have a really good understanding. So we'll go have, like, I pay like, like, so I pay the insurance for both the cars. I gave her the car I bought. Cause I bought like, a, like, I shout out me. Cause I, I'm, I'm like real good with money. So like I bought a Nissan Altima uh -huh. and I bought it cash. Uh -huh. Boom. And my credit went from nothing to because I paid it off like in a month, technically. Okay. So and then I paid for the insurance. and I'll pay for the fees and shit, right? So I paid that. I paid that the the monthly shit. I thought I have an auto pay. Okay. And then I pay like the That's wife. That's fine. Your car's fine. Both my cars, the Wi-Fi. And she was like, and she's like, hey, go pay for the. She's like, hey, pay for the groceries. And I'm like, this your month. But it's just me and mom go <laughs> with. Know. Yeah, like like what? Like she because she's always talking about I'm in the my mom hella feminine. Mm -hmm. So she's like. You feel me? Like, so it's cool. It's just like, it's just like a relationship. She's like, she's like, mijo, you don't need to give me everything. She's like, just if my mom gets tickets to concerts she wants to go to, she knows if she wants money, she can ask. Yeah. My mom's also like, I got my own money and you help me a lot. Yeah. She's like, so I have money to fuck off. And, but she was fucking with me because I forgot to link my shit. And she's like, and then I was like, what are you talking about? I'm not broke. And she's like, no, you're not. And I'm like, what you mean? She's like, look. And I'm like, oh, it's leaked. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh. And she's like, should I tell your sister too? Oh. And I'm like, God. oh my God. But it was cool. But yeah, like, I can only imagine how 80 looks though. Yeah, it was amazing. And I was, that was the most money I ever had in my bank account. And that was probably like around 2015. Were you kind of like, my heart? Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. But then it was gone because he had deposited it. And then we went to go get the car or whatever, and the guy was like, okay, like, give me your bank information or whatever, and then it was right back out on the car. But he's like, I'm just going to pay it off because I don't know when the next time is I'm going to get this amount of money, so I'm just going to pay it. I'm like, okay, cool. Damn. And so we were in a we were at the gallery at NoHo, and we had a Porsche, and then he had got a Ferrari, and I'm like, we we can't be in here like this. So he got a Ferrari? <laughs> yeah. He had got the California Ferrari. It was red. And I'm like, bro, we got to get out of here. And I'll never forget, he uh, was like, my mom was here. And he was like taking us around to like look at all these houses. Because we're like, okay, we're going to move. We're going to get a house. And he was like taking us to look at all these houses. We had looked at two. And then the last one that we had went to... I was like, oh, my God, this one's so beautiful. Like, oh, it's everything. Like, wow, this is so good. Like, this is the house we need. And he was like, well, here's the key. I'm like, oh, my God, you're lying. And my mom was there. She just thought he was like, oh, he was just the man. And he got that house. I'm like, damn, this nigga has money now. Because I never knew how much he had. He didn't have no bank account or nothing. Or I think he did start getting a bank account. I'm a fucking scammer like AD's dad. He didn't. Uh, fuck no. <laughs> I wish he knew how to scam something. <laughs> like, I need a scam. He always says it. He's like, I need a scam. Y'all niggas got to teach me how to do a scam. But no, he was making so much money. And so he, but my, I say that to say is, it would have been way more impressive if we bought that house because he could have with the amount of money that he had. That's, that's what I'm thinking. That's, I, I wonder if he's ever like, damn, fuck this Ferrari, fuck this Porsche. I would have put all that in the house. We would have been owners right he now. He could have. No, so he had Rolls Royce, Ferrari. No, he was blowing his money. He but if you never have that much money, you got to blow it. You have to do it. You have to experience that. So he doesn't regret it. He doesn't regret anything. But we wasted a lot of money. We blew through a lot of fucking money. And we could have owned that house. But now we own the house that we're in now. And we love it. And Did you guys elevator work? It. Yeah, it works now. It, it didn't works. work. It didn't work now? It didn't work when y'all were when you were wanting to come over. Do you just get on it? 
and just Jaylen go. Jalen doesn't get on it. I talk. I know. That's what, what the fuck's the point of the elevator? I mean, for groceries. I use it for groceries. Dog, if I have an elevator in my house, just know I'm never going upstairs again. <laughs> the elevator's so slow compared to the stairs. I don't give a fuck. I have like, an if elevator. I want to go get a quick snack, I'm going to run up the stairs. I'm not going to get on the elevator. I'm going to walk my up. It's 10 stairs. I counted it. It's 10 stairs to get up there. It's not that hard. Each, nah, elevators section, still fly. It is fly. I but before you come over, I want to make it all glass. I want to put all glass on the inside. On in the elevator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see. Because like, like, see, we just bought our house, so now we're trying to do renovation. Renovation. To it. Yeah. So how's the our, kitchen looking? It's good. It's pretty much done. It's it's beautiful actually. So we did that, and we did our backyard, and then we have to do like our master bathroom, and then it's a lot of stuff that we have to do. But when we're done, we're gonna try to flip it. And then go buy our dream house, hopefully. What city? Um, I don't know. I really want to be in Calabasas. That's where I'm trying to be. Facts. So hopefully back on Fig Blows. Back on Fig <laughs> Nah, it's doing good. And, and, and I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm, I'm like, you're really good on camera, bro. Who, Other me? than when you get drunk off Tito's and say some wild you shit. You know what? I'm made for this shit, too. Facts. Everybody thinks Terrell is. He is. But I am, too. And it reminds me of, like, Tiny Chat and, like, shit that I used to be on when yeah. I met him. And that's why it feels so real. Like, it feels not like, you know, 3,000 people are watching us or however many people are watching us. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like we're just all hanging out. Yeah, just fuck, kicking it. Yeah, yeah, just hanging out. So when I said that, I'm like, fuck, Heather. Y'all are on live, you idiot. Like, it's not just y'all in the room. And, 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 and Tyrell's a favorite. Yeah. You know what I mean? He is. I'm like, I'm like, he's a favorite. I'm like, fool, you're a favorite. Dude, that shit was wild. And he was like, fuck you, fool. It's like, I'm just saying, motherfucker. You know? I but- love that he do it because he didn't want to do anything. Like, he would just do no jumper and at the end of the day and he'd be fine. Like, you know, no, he's but a great I'm interviewer. like, you're so good, you could fucking run no jumper. You can yeah, run that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, and, a, he's a good interviewer. He's He's just fucking the homie's been a boss for a long time, so he's able to boss maneuver around shit. Like he he knows how to like, all right, for this we gotta do boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And it's like, okay, yeah, the homie on it, boom, boom. You know, you feel me? Like And he didn't want to start back on fake. I had to like really like press him to do it because he didn't want to step on anybody's toes or he didn't want to, you know, make anybody feel a certain type of way yeah. by starting something. But I'm like, you have to do it because you're made for this shit too. And you know, if it, it, you'll never know if it works if you don't try. So he he likes it and it's fun and fucking smack is great. Like he's smack. so good with Terrell. Like bro, they're fucking so funny. They're fucking funny as fuck together, dog. And it's like wow, and it's so cool because I'm like, dang, this man Adam made a living for himself off just talking and like doing interviews and stuff. Like you never know that that would bring in money. You know, and porn. I never th- and, and porn. And Let's not forget that. That's what brings in the most. <laughs> that, that, we're rich off the porn. I know. I'm like, damn. You're talking about only fa- Shit, yeah. I told her, I'm like, you want to do OnlyFans? Or what are they doing over there? What they got going on? What do you say when you say OnlyFans? He's like, you could do it. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that shit. He don't care what I do. I mean, these bitches, I'm like, I'm letting money slip through the cracks because these hoes are on the, not doing nothing on there. He's like, yes, they are. They're fucking on there. I'm like, oh. Not all of them, though. I have homegirls that make, like, no cap, like, six bands a month. Just and, for posting, like, and, lingerie. And their ass. Yeah. I'm and, like, I got that on the internet already. I maybe, mean, not now, but. <laughs> and maybe, like, a little bit of nip. Maybe, like, a little side nip. And maybe, like, a little, little butt cheek, you know, a little crack, but. Like six bands a month. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. And like... Damn, because you think about it, Heather, a little 10 bands a month, a little extra. Extra? But I mean, yeah, he's like, you want to disrespect yourself? I'm like, it's not disrespected, (laughs) really. I mean, is it? It's just taking pictures. It's just taking sexy pictures, but... I'm I'm not going to... I'm a wife. I'm a mother of three. So I don't need to do OnlyFans, I guess. But if Back on Fig can bring in extra 10 a month, that's, I mean, Back on Figs, we got brand deals. Yeah, I YouTube, seen that. first payout was popping. You I'm feel, like, this is good. Yeah, yeah, good brand I'm deals. Like, if you keep good, good, good old my bookie, good old minimal. Yeah, good old minimal, good old my bookie, mm-hmm. good old, good old, good old AdSense. 
It all adds up, man. You know, yeah, we got the homies to. booming. You feel me? We, man, we've been working. We've been, you know, feel me? And it's always popping. So it's fun. It is fun. It is fun. That's it's a, fun. That's what, like, the money comes with it. But at the end of the day, it's fun. It doesn't feel like work. Like, it doesn't feel like, oh, he has to go do this. I actually need to hit a minimal. I need some clothes. Yeah, you should. What's you next should. for Heather? Other than back on Fig, what's next for Sorella and shit like that? I don't know, Duno. You know, I'm kind of like sad with Sorella right now just because I don't, just because I'm like. <sighs> just because you don't have the story? Yeah, and it's just all weird. It's just a weird year for me. It's just weird. So I would say just like grow, keep doing the same thing I'm doing, grow. I want to have like a beautiful store. Hopefully, I can redo it all brand new. Hopefully, I get a million dollars from insurance and what? I can like. Or do it. I don't know. Or I'm, I don't, I really, I honestly don't know. But like 2023 is coming. Obviously, you have goals. Like, what is even, even like the littlest shit? Like, I don't know. Maybe you want Zane to grow 30 inches more. I don't know. Something small. Uh, like, a 2023 goal. I need to write them down. I've been like thinking about, I have to do my 2023 resolutions. But I don't know. My 2022 was to be happy with myself. And I think I did that. So exactly. I'm happy. Because the Sorella was a little. Well, the Sorella situation was a little step back. Yeah, it was. But no, just like uh, physically and mentally with myself, okay. because I went through a lot in 2021, mentally and physically. And so 2022, I was like, I need to like feel good about myself, get Heather back. And I think I did that. So for 2023 is just like continue to do that um, and just like be my real self because mm -hmm. like I'm trying to like make it big on TikTok and <laughs> well you know who's big on TikTok young Dunoski. I do know that and Love I want to do a TikTok with you <laughs> I'm we like, do it today. we gotta do something today no but it's just like and I'm like okay I can like put all these filters on TikTok and make myself look like this or look like that and then my video gets no views but when I get on TikTok and I'm just like myself and I just do whatever Shit goes crazy. Facts. When I get on there and say, I'm not married. I've been with this nigga for 13 years. Shit goes viral. So I'm yeah. like, I just have to be my real self, not try to be everybody else. Because I'm like, oh, it works for her. I could do what she's doing. I do that a lot. Like, oh, it works for her. I could, I could try to do it. Are most of the girls you're talking about white? Most of them are white, unfortunately. because. And, and you know what's crazy? I, a lot of my homies, and, and, and not towards them, but they're um, squarish. In, mm -hmm. in the in the industry. Yeah. And I'll be getting it cracking on TikTok, but brand deals don't fuck with me. So I get I get why you keep it PG. Yeah. But I'm like, man, fuck you, fools. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Cause if Red Bull could come and give me 10 bands for me and my homies to go fucking fuck bitches and get drunk. Mm -hmm. Oh, Red Bull gave you that? Oh, Red Bull gave me a... Red Bull Red Bull loves me. Really? Well, I pull up to the office. I'm in a little mini bike. I'm fucking... <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I, That's I, they, tight. they flew me out to Miami, got me drunk, got me lit. See, I want brand deals. I want a good brand yeah, deal. Yeah, brand deal. But I just got one with YouTube Shorts, though, that I'm blessed. How was that? Oh, I haven't started yet. You did it with... Uh, for Back on Fig? No, for Heather and Terrell. Oh, nice. For our family channel. We just have to post like a certain amount of shorts within six yeah, months. Yeah, tap me in. And we got paid great. But look, I'm gonna I'm, I'll, I'll tap you on my Red Bull people. They always looking for the little family vibes. You know, they yeah. like they like shit like that. But see, you could do that because you got kids. Well, you get a Target deal. No, that's oh, what I want. Ryan, no, Ryan, is, Ryan is rich. You know who Ryan is? Uh -uh. The little fucker that opens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I, I hate that motherfucker. I know. I'm like, dog, how do you get 30 million views? I'm oh. like, come on, Zoe, get on YouTube. <laughs> we about to film. Talk about this toy. Like, shit. That shit is crazy. They made it. They made it. But you can do it. And it's just like, I would only, I only want to do, I only want to talk about brands that I like when I'm getting paid. I don't want to say, oh, I have this White Claw. I love White Claw. I'm going to drink White Claw every day, you know? But if White Claw, White Claw played, paid me, I'd be like, go get your White Claw. Shout out White Claw. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I like something, I have to learn how to talk about it without being paid. And I think that's how the brand deals come. Yeah, because I just had like a little deal, like a little monthly thing with um, kind of like a, like a clothing brand, but also like a shroom company. Mm -hmm. And they were like, we know you don't do shrooms. They're like, but just be you. Yeah. And I'd be like fucking around with my mom with the shrooms. I'd be talking shit with my sisters. I'd be like, well, you mad? Take the shrooms, stupid. I'd be recording the homies eating the shrooms, getting and all lit. Is it TikTok brand 
Yeah. Nah, nah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an Instagram story brand deal. But I could tap you in with them. I'm be like, I'm be like, I'm be like, hey Heather, look, I'm like, I'm like, look, my dog need. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, tap me in with all that. I want all the brands. And they and they like, yeah, yeah, look, this amount of stories. And, see, and I feel like. And 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 they don't need a contract. They'll they'll tell you, boom. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> Shroom what? I'd be on shrooms all day. The fuck? <laughs> cause the contracts, cause the contracts could be I, I could see why it could be a little tricky. It's like, fuck, okay, I gotta do this shit. Fuck, and it's like fuck it's And then like, and then fuck I gotta do taxes for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, for real. bro, I got to Cali, my manager, he was like, hey dog, you know Red Bull gonna hit us at the end of the month. At the end of the year, I'm like, fuck, I know. I know. I'm like, oh, I got that, man. But cool, but even working with brands like that, like you get like the what do they call like the ninety day shit? Like where they pay you like a ninety? What do they call them? Like like net nineties? Like I've got it like out of nowhere. I wake up and I'm like, oh yeah, it takes a while. And for I'm like, I forgot. Come. I hate about that it. though. Ugh. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because it motivates me to want to work more. Yeah, true. But also a thing with with deal brands, people understand is like always go beyond what all, they expect you to do. Yeah, because then they then they're like, okay, you showed us love. But now you come back with the leverage. Well, look, fool, this is what I could woo-woo. Yeah, that's what Terrell's like. Post extra stories, post extra for them, like shout them out and whatever else you're doing. He's like, so they'll want to work with you again. But it's hard for me. White creators have it really easy. They have it so easy, which oh. we have to change the narrative. Dog, <laughs> they don't fuck with us. Okay, look. They don't. And look. it's like... I'm a mom of three. I have my own business. I'm an influencer. I'm fashionable. I fucking love home decor. I love, I do it all. Like, there's not just one thing about me. Like, oh, Heather's just beauty or Heather's just working out. Like, Heather does it all. Yeah, but, but you do like, a lot of white people shit. And I smoke weed, too. And, like, that's, too, where I think that that's, like, my only thing that's, like, my downfall. And I stopped doing it, too. because I'm Like, like well, on your what? story? Yeah, because I'll, like, post. Smoking. I used to do it all the time. But also, shout out um, Jack. Yeah, shout out to Jack. Because he 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 done come through for me a couple times. He's like, do no. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Jack. I love Jack. So he w he used to work for this YouTube agency that I was with called Full Screen. And right when we started our family channel, we had got signed to them. And it was cool. They brought us, like, Best Buy brand deals. They brought us some really good brand deals. We made a lot of money with them. But Jack was our... Like guy, yeah, yeah, from from that certain agency, from that agency, and there, his he got a new manager, which was this white lady, and she was like, she did not like me and Terrell. Terrell had told her about herself. They hate Terrell even more once he starts speaking his mind. Like Terrell's cool when he shuts up, but when Terrell opens his mouth, the oh, white people don't like I him. I can only imagine. They don't like him. So she was like, "You guys will never be the Ace Family. You guys will never do this." She's like, "You're a family channel, but." You guys are kind of urban. I'm like, bitch, don't play me. I'll shut fucking this shit down. I'm like, are you being racist? Was 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 urban her way of saying ghetto? Yes. Oh it my was. God. She said that in a meeting. In a meeting with us. I'm like, what did you realize? Who did you realize? Jack quit after that. And that's why I love Jack so much to this day. And I'll let him have whatever percentage of whatever deal he brings me. He said urban? She said urban. Urban, and you guys were in there. And she told me we'll never be the Ace Family, and we'll never make it like they did. So what, Groove? Yeah, <laughs> that's what she told me. I'm like, Urban me, is said, crazy. Me, Urban is crazy. I called the whole agency. Uh, we had a meeting. They had picked creators. Jack was like, they want the creators to talk about the agency and like what they've done for them. I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll do it. I got on there with all the YouTube agencies. Everybody they had on their Zoom call. It was at least 20,000 people in that Zoom call. And, and I said, you, you went know in what? on the white lady? I said, when well, my manager at Full Screen told me that I would never make it because I was urban and my family channel would never grow and I would never be like the Ace family. I said, that's what this agency told their creator. And then you left the Zoom? That Zoom went into shambles. That fucking company was closed down three months later. That company was shut down three months later. I'm telling you. Damn. Jack was like, Heather, that company, he's like, I had to leave because ever since the new lady came in and after you said that and after all that, she multiple people started complaining about her. And yeah, he was like, I yeah. just had to go. Urban is crazy. If, 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 fucking if anything at but this time. But it just time, discouraged me. Yeah, but anything, but even at this time right now, it's like, it sounds crazy, but like, it's cool to be ghetto. Everybody want to be ghetto. Yeah. Everybody does. Like your creators, your little white creators that you are making y'all all this money, they want to be ghetto. Yeah. But it's just like, 
Damn, telling you you're not that you're too urban is 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 wild, isn't it? It, it made me so sad. I cried. It's different if she would have like, but even but even if she would have said it like subliminally, which she kind of did, but you know, obviously you guys aren't stupid. But like, if she would have said it in a way where like, look, you guys just need to clean it up a little bit more. Yeah, that would have been a little more like, okay. Yeah, you know what, you real? Maybe we don't cuss. Yeah, you know, maybe we we turn it down a little bit. But also nobody. But wants, like on our family channel, we didn't. Yeah, but also nobody wants to be like the Ace family. This was our fucking shit show. One. Yeah. That shit is a fucking shit show. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but you guys got the the the, the good, but yeah, you do need the little Target one. I know. The it's Walmart like, one will I'm be like, crazy. they just want us to be corny. I'm like, corny is what you want us to be? We're not going to be that. Yeah. We're not going to be corny. We're going to be real. And it's either we fall under the family channel segment or we weren't falling under the algorithm. We Like, <laughs> we just didn't know where really to fall. Thanks. And she just fucked us all up, but... Jack was one good thing that came out of that agency. And so he's just like freelancing now. He's like, I'll never work for the white people again. Now, I'm going to do Jack. this for my black you know, and brown creators. And he really tried to bring us as much brand deals as he could with that agency. We made a lot of money with him uh, with that agency. But now he brings us money still. Like he still brings us great deals. And he's not even with anybody. He's just trying to like reach out to brands. That feels like a free agent. Yeah, he is. No, yeah, he always taps in with me and goes like, hey, do know I got woo woo. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And, and, and honestly, like I even like Jack, when I first met him, it was just through the phone. Yeah. And I never questioned Tyrell. I was like, this is my boy. I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever you, whatever you take. I don't know. I don't know how much we get. Out. Whatever you take is cool. Just bring me whatever I got to Let make. me know. That's what I tell him. Like, don't tell me the deal, the amount before your cut. Tell me the amount after your cut. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, hey, Heather, I have this deal. They're going to pay you this much. I'm like, is that with your cut or without? He's yeah. like, that's with my cut. I mean, without my cut. I'm like, what is it with your cut? Because I don't even care about what you're making, but how much am I going to make? That's all I care <laughs> yeah. about. But he brings me deals and yeah, bro. I like the I, fucking. I like the skin deal. The glow skin. I one? need the skin. Who? who, who fuck, what's your name? What glow skin? That, that's that what they're called? Yeah. Glow skin. I need a deal, but brothers. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's amazing. Glow skin. The fact that the like fact that Smack and, and Tira have a glow skin deal. I know it's hilarious, <laughs> but I'm so proud. Smack of be it. like, Smack be like, he be like, yeah, groove my, yeah, my skin groove. I'm like Smack. <laughs> Hey, glow skin is probably confused, but they're like, yeah, smack. Yeah, and then people really, niggas from back on fig really be like, got my glow skin kit. Like, niggas are <laughs> buying it. No, nah, that shit is cool, but it's funny because he's like, he like, yeah, groove, yeah, groove. <laughs> and T-Rose, oh, that. And it's, thank God they have you because I know both them motherfuckers can't read. I know. So I'm like, oh, thank God they have oh, Heather to read them that. Because Golly. Like, they be struggling on Monday. Dog. They be struggling. Dog. They be, they, did you see Smack struggle yesterday? No. He's like, Kiki, um, and we had a laugh attack. He's like, you changing my narrative. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He was not He's having... real life slow. Him and Terrell. Oh, they're slow. Terrell's IEP. so smart, he's slow. Yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah, him. they're like they were they were like in special ed without knowing they were in special ed. Like the <laughs> homies, like the homies, but there's nothing wrong with that. Thank God they're great talkers. Yeah. But no, like Terrell's so smart with numbers, and I'm not. Like I'm not smart with numbers, money, shit like that, I can't do. He could count shit in his head. He he's just like so good with money and numbers. But see, it makes sense because you this motherfucker's stories suck, but your story is you. You place the phone, the lighting, there's something playing behind you, the, the perfect filter. I'm like, Heather, how you? Because, like, the glow skin, like, see, like, I'll be learning all you motherfuckers. I'll be like, okay, boom. Be like, oh, I got to do this, boom. Yeah. Like, like girls are way more creative than guys when it comes. I just happen to already have, like, a dope fan base and, like, yeah. I know how do I do, Guys don't have to do much. No, but what I'm saying is, like, the way you guys edit it, I'm like, what the fuck? Because his, his stories suck when he promotes my, like, the glow skin shit. But I'm like, you, you play the phone, you do your whole routine, you put your hair up. I'm yeah, like, you motherfucker, I mean, you suck. Thank God. I'm like, but he, but behind the scenes, the homie is a real good businessman. He is. He'd be like, doing all woo woo woo. Like, He's you know, great. And woo. when I used to see him on like on tour and stuff with Tyga, he used to always make sure that everybody got paid. Yeah, yeah he was telling us. Everybody got paid yeah. on time. He'd be sitting, counting everybody's money, putting in envelopes, make sure everybody got paid at the end of the night, lights, sound. Driver, make sure they have money for food. Make sure he got paid. Tiger got paid. Everything, and I just, I just trust him with my money. Yeah, facts. Like I, I would like, 
I don't even check my bank account sometimes, and I don't pay bills anymore because I get anxiety really bad. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't do it. You have to do it for me. I can't. I can't see the money leave the account. I'm going to die. <laughs> if I do, I can't do it no more. Like, you have to do it. Nah, I'll be So I, he does it all. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be on my bills. I'll be like, fuck. I hate bills. I hate bills. And Josh, be honest. Josh sent me invoice at, at fucking, if it's the 30th, I'll get it at 11.59. At 12, I'm like, I got you, but I don't even trip. But I'm, what I'm. Did, what is Josh did invoices to you for? What do you mean? The, the camera he edits. Oh, yeah. this guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, Josh. No jumper, Josh. Oh no, I invoice him. Yeah, I'm like, don't you invoice <laughs> no, him? No, yeah, no, no. But Josh, like, like even like Mahami Jose or like anything, I'll just, I'll be like, the, I, I prefer getting over it, getting over it with it. Yeah, just paying. I'm it. like, fuck, just send it now, Josh. And he'll I know. Be like, and he'll be like, all right, I'm on it. And then I'll be like, oh, thank God. I know. I, I fucking like, hate it. Ugh. But but I do hate pain. I hate pain. <laughs> I'm like, I hate I'll money. pay you next month, motherfucker. Fuck you. I know. <laughs> but nah, but I'm but just like how I like being paid on time, I understand why people like being paid on time. I understand too. And that's just that's just like a process to the business. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I got you. Yeah, for Ooh. sure. Do good business. Facts. I always like to do good business. I really don't like owing anybody or not paying anybody. I really try to do good business and have people have like a good working experience with mm -hmm. me because I don't want anybody to be like, oh, she didn't pay me or she owes me this or she's grimy or uh-uh. Uh, you're not doing that shit. Mm -mm, I don't like that. So I make sure all my debt is paid. The only debt I got is that tax that one that I'm about to get erased. So, but but she like... with that. She like, I hired a lawyer. I did. I paid that lawyer up front. I'm like, get this shit together. Now. Now. <laughs> Get it together. I don't want to owe a thing. Well, man, Heather, I appreciate you Dude, coming. Dude, I don't even feel like we... We talked a lot. 12 hours? Two hours? Okay, but well, I don't even feel like it was an interview. You feel like we're just kicking it? Yeah. That's how it should be, though. Because I got like 30 clips from you right now. Okay, good. You feel me? Stupid, stupid thumbnails. Run it up. They call me camera overheated twice, but we'll be all right. Because, look, I was, I, I, I went to go, like, just look. I, I, but I feel like I already know so much because, obviously, like, we, we kick it and, yeah. like, every, but I'm like, I don't know. What the fuck do I ask Heather? Like, I feel like everybody kind of already knows because we podcast and talk. And then I went on your Lena shit. I'm like, dog, she did three hours? I know. And I didn't want to stop talking to Lena either. <laughs> and I'm like, three hours is crazy. I know. How do you feel about T-Rail's take on Kanye? Oh, I agree with everything, Terrell. Yeah. Heather. Heather. I'm a Kanye West lover. Heather. I know. Jalen's like, you're going to get canceled. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Kanye West so I die, baby. <laughs> Heather, the homie's a little wild when it he's comes wild. to Kanye. He's wild. I know he's wild. But he can do no wrong in Terrell's eyes. And then his excuse is like, he's a Gemini. I'm like, shut up, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, stop. He's stop. like, he's a Gemini. He's a... But who do we have to look up to? Who as black men do they have to look up to that's rich as fuck? I'm brown, so really I don't know. I'm doing just it out here, <laughs> like really making it out, doing it out. He he really does love him because he's a Gemini though. But T Rose just like Kanye, just not wild exactly with his They're exactly alike. Dog, they're crazy. <laughs> they're exactly alike. Dog, the homie's crazy, fool. Yeah. I've been telling motherfuckers, the homie T Rose, he 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 gotta be on meds. No, he's not. No, he I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he should be because he's wild. I don't know how I deal with him. How does your family deal with him? At first, it was very, very rocky because they don't like, Oh, your boyfriend ghetto. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's every name in the book. They did not like Tyrell. Well, the craziest shit they, they said about Tyrell, and he was like, man, fuck you. That's my man. I don't know. That scrawny, ugly motherfucker. Oh, fuck yeah. Him. My mom was like, are you sure you want to talk to him? He's not that cute, Heather. I'm like- you got to know you're eating your words because look at my kids right now. My kids are so beautiful. They're beautiful. From this ugly Shout family. out niece. Shout out the niece and the nephews. Yeah. They're very beautiful. Like, so beautiful from him. And it's just like, I don't know. There's some things I hate about Terrell. And then there's, there's just like, that's just him. So I yeah. just have to love it, you know. And is, he has a lot of strengths that I don't have. And I have a lot of strengths that he, he doesn't, doesn't have. have. So my kids are going to have both. You know, my kids are going to be street smart. I wish I had that. I wish I was street smart like him. I wish I could uh, speak my mind like him and uh, have like Tell a really it. strong opinion like him and not back down from anything and don't give a fuck. And I want my kids to have that because I didn't have that. Yeah. And I was always shy. I wouldn't speak up for myself. And like when I got with him, I started to learn that I need to 
you can speak your mind. You can speak up for yourself. You can say no. You don't have to be fucking nice. You don't have to smile and be white all the time. You yeah. can be, you know, I learned that from him. And I want my kids to have that. And, but I also want my kids to be respectful. He doesn't have respect. <laughs> he doesn't have manners. The homie got no manners. None. Unless he likes you. Barely. Like, I, the homie, I think I'm probably one of the only people he liked in the last two years. He loves you. Yeah. He's like, that's like my little brother. I love you. I yeah. die for that. Because he, he, he don't fuck. I've been looking at him the way he talks. He's... The homie has a soft spot for me. Yeah, because he, does. he doesn't put dog the way he be talking to a lot of people on the group chat. Be like, oh. <laughs> he's reckless. reckless. I'm like, you're gonna get fired. Stop. They're gonna fire you. He be like, I'm like yeah. these white he be like, people. Yeah. He be like, fuck you, Adam, you bitch. I'll be like, yeah, no. <laughs> he does not play with Adam. But he, but they love each other weirdly. Yeah. I'm like, dog, you fools are twins. Yeah. Just he's a white man that does porn, <laughs> and you're a black man that's a family man with an elevator. <laughs> Yeah. There, yeah. No, there are a lot of like too, but Terrell's not backing down. Yeah, he's nah. standing on his opinion. <laughs> the homie don't give he a fuck. don't give a fuck, and that's what I want my kids to have too. I want my kids to have that, but I want them to have my respectfulness, my level head, your level head, my like you can you know talk your way through things, mm. not have to cuss your way out or um, you know. What about your relationship with China? You think you'll ever get like okay? Yeah, I think so. Has she has she tried to reach out with then like you guys already being old there and it's like bro we was young. Yeah, gives? she's like I'm so proud of the family and the woman that you've become, Heather. What is she like, like? What is she like? Hey, I got a big photo shoot. I need some clothes. You sending her a care package? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She don't need. She'll never ask me for that though. But I would. But um. I think we could put it all in the past. I just don't think that we'll ever be best friends like, like we were. Yeah, okay, yeah. We're just two different people. Yeah. We're just two different people, and we tried to be friends because our guys were friends, and it just didn't work. Yeah, it, it was like it was kind of like forced. Kind of, yeah. But it was so fun. I had so much fun with her. Yeah. That's like you being the calm one and then having like a super ghetto best friend, huh? I think that's what I need, though. Because I don't think I could have a friend that's exactly like me. Do you have friends? No, not really. I know. I could tell. Jalen's my friend. But she works for me, too. So it could be a little tricky. Like, you don't want to ever get too comfortable, but she's your friend. Yeah. Like, I feel like you And only... I hate that. But, uh, but I'm like, I'm like, at last time I was like, does Heather have friends? I have friends. Like, you never post, like, you at brunch with a friend. Like, I feel I like know. you need that food. I do. I do. I do. do Unless the homie's crazy, it doesn't let you out. No. Fuck no. He's like, bitch, leave. Please. Get out of my face. He's like, Heather, go get friends. Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, fool. You need to do that. But you know what? I was so against I don't want to hear this excuse about, I have kids and I'm a new mother. And then, no. Yeah. I had No. I my friends wanted to be friends with me for all the wrong reasons when I was around certain things. Yeah. And I feel like they only wanted to be around me because I was around these niggas. You know, I could go we could go to any club we wanted, VIP, everything, you know, whatever. So I feel like but there's different types of friends. There's friends that you can go out with, there's friends that you can't go to brunch with, there's friends that you can sit in the house with. But yeah. But also you're far away from home. Yeah. So the people you do trust and know that they love you for you is like, like I have a lot of friends. Like I'm. I know you and Terrell. I, I'm like, oh yeah. What are we doing today? Korean barbecue. Let's I go. I know, Korean. and I, you know what? I really. That's one thing that I wish that I could be like Terrell too. Like I really wish I could be like Terrell in a lot of ways. And he has so many friends. But now that he's getting older, and when you start making money and stuff, you you realize that not everybody is your friend. Most but definitely. he likes to be surrounded by a lot of people. And he's like, "Well, it's your birthday. You don't have anybody to call. Nobody's gonna show up for you. Nothing." So That's like for my up. birthdays, what a dick. <laughs> it's dry. Yeah. For my birthdays. But for his birthday, I'm like, when it's your birthday, you don't want to invite none of these niggas because they're dumb, like Smack's party. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that it's just, smacks. like, dumb. So it's like, you have all these friends, but can you fuck with all these friends on a daily basis or, you know? He has, like, three good friends. The only friends' friends that I know is Q, uh, SB, Dre, Smack. Smack and Nitty. Those are like Terrell's friends. And Fear, his his Mexican homie, uh, yeah. Fear. That's, Chewy. Those are like his best friends. And Chewy friends. is his best friend's little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah, those are like his real friends. All Everybody else, 
he might have had history with them and stuff, but like real friends that he can talk to all the time, hang out at any occasion, those are his five friends. I'm Come blessed. Come to our house, those are the friends. I'm I'm blessed because I have a lot of those. But I, every day is crazy. Yeah. And, and, and I can't bring a lot of them to a lot of certain places just because of like... Fool, I know how you get when you're drunk. Just yes. shut the fuck up. And then we're going to get into it. And if we get into it, well, then I'm the dickhead for getting mad at you because I'm around certain people. And it's like, no, motherfucker, this is my career. Yeah. But I do have friends that I take everywhere with me. Like. And Terrell wanted to bring all his friends with him. When he was around Tiger, Terrell was coming no less than 30 niggas deep. I'm like, Damn. Anywhere he went. But then it started getting too hectic. He had to get all these people in. They all had to have a wristband. They all had to have this. Or they started fighting. It's just like, it's just too much to deal with. Yeah. So five good friends is good. Yeah, like kind of come everywhere with. Yeah. That know how to act. Aren't going to yeah. act too crazy. They can come to our house, whatever. But he wants me to have friends so very badly. But my mom didn't have a lot of friends when I was growing up. She had my, you guys were my all dad has four sisters. So she was like friends with them, and I have four sisters. Yeah, so, but like, are you, sir, are, are you saying I don't your family? Are you saying like your family's like kind of like loners, the girl sides? Because your dad has a lot of friends. My dad has a lot of friends. Yeah, my dad does. But you want Zoe to have friends? Yeah, I do. I don't want her to be like me. <laughs> I really don't. Did because ever, it's sad. I could have every friend I wanted. I just have to initiate it. In the industry, there's certain people that like. They're like friends, but it's like, so I know you've been around a lot of very famous people. They're like, yeah, you're my friend, but it's kind of hard because our lives are fucking, yeah, like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit sounds crazy. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. But you need friends, fool. Like, I know. Like, you know? to the day you post like a brunch, or I don't know, maybe start kicking it with like, I don't have a bitch. So you can not like. Yeah, kick it with your girlfriend. And she's like 10 years younger than you. I'm 10 years younger than you. It's going to be hard to kind of kind of relate. Like but things like things in common. Yeah, but there's like Elena. It's like Lexi. Oh, Lexi, love. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi's so cute, but she's young too. Lexi's young. She, oh, she's, no, she's a little older than me, right? Well, I'm you're young. I'm 22. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't get going with what my What is she, bitch. like 25? I don't know how old Lexi is. The homie is. ain't even for the young boy. I just yeah. haven't been around Lexi enough to like... Also, really? Lexi don't talk. She don't, and I don't either. Yeah. So I need a friend that is going to talk to me. Now, nah, you drunk, you talk. Lexi. Yeah, if I'm drunk, I'll talk. But I j I'm not really good. Like, if I'm out at an event, I'm not good with, like, starting up conversation or keeping it up. That's why I always like to bring Terrell with me because he's, like, my, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. He's He's your... <laughs> No fucking, yeah. he's your, that fool's your people skills person. Yes. Like, hey, bro, this is my girl. Talk to her. Boom. And he'll walk away. Uh-huh. That's what I do. I, I date introvert bitches. I'm definitely introvert. So what I do is like, I went to Big Bear recently and I took a bitty I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. All my homegirls already know each other. Ah. So what I did was like, hey, pick the room. We're going upstairs. I was like, I'll be back. I'm going to go with the homies to the store to Big Bear. Boom. Left it there. And I'm like, you better stay up here. You, better, you go downstairs. I'm going to be mad at you. Stay up here and figure it the fuck out. Help with the dishes. All the girls are cooking. They're helping each other. I'm not saying that's the only thing the girls were doing, but like. Yeah, go mix with the girls. Go fucking, go be a girl, fool. Yeah. And she was like, oh, it's because she was like. And I'm like, go over there. And then she went and she fucking was. Blah, 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 blah. That, that, that week, that's was, me. That night we got drunk and she's like, ah, <laughs> bitch, follow me. I was like, oh, yeah. But no. see, people can like. I can come off the wrong way because I don't talk and I'll and I'll sit to myself and I'll be by myself. So people could be like, oh, she's a bitch or oh, she don't want to fuck with us or, you know, stuff like that. So people don't really know how I am until you get around me and they're like, oh, she's actually cool or she's actually sweet or she's actually, you know. When I first met you, I did think you were like a little cocky. Yeah, because I come off like that. Yeah. I do because I don't talk and you don't people don't know me. Yeah. That's why interviews. This is new because yeah. nobody knows me. Like my whole million followers that I've built on Instagram the last twelve years, mm -hmm. I, they don't, they never heard me talk. Like until ever. lately, until recently, until lately, until recently. The girls be like, "Oh my god, bitch, you cool." Back off, it was funny. Like do they like do, you do know you get... what? I don't think that my crew watches it. Like people that I don't know, like 
People that my friends or like my associates, I don't think that they watch back on thing or no jump. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like girls that have been following you forever, like fans, like supporters. Oh yeah, they love like, it. Like they like, yeah, bitch, you ratchet just like us. Uh-huh. I'm like, what you expect? No wonder you're fucking <laughs> did you and Tira ever call Hollywood unlocked on yourselves? No. <laughs> Heather? Oh, he didn't. The gas station one seemed a little staged. Yeah, I know it did. <laughs> it did. It did seem staged. But he has got us coming out of uh, uh, Sorella before. And so he was there, like at the gas station or whatever. And he asked. He asked if he could, like, catch us or whatever. He was getting gas. And so we're, we, were, we were getting snacks. We had walked across the street. And he asked, like, hey, can I, like, you know, whatever. And, and we're like, like yeah. okay, well, you want to get, like, okay, we never. Like, he's taken pictures of us before, and, like, two times we've been on Hollywood Unlocked. Yeah. And one time, when time you was, was pregnant like, one time, right? And you yeah. were getting Chick-fil-A? Mm-hmm. You look big as shit there. Yeah. I was pregnant with Zayn. I like, was big. You were like... I was huge. And then another time was outside of this restaurant on Melrose Place. But he asked. He was like, hey, like, can I pull my camera out? And, like, and we're like, okay, yeah. You're like, yeah. And I just know. walked out, found in there. And then we made it a YouTube video, Terrell's fucking bright idea, which made it seem like it was staged. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Trust me, I know. How frustrating was the day you met Jideon? So fucking... Were I, you there? Fucking bitch. I fucking hate Jideon. And I want his ass to come on back on Fig. I told Terrell, hit him up and have him come on back on Fig so I can get in his ass. He had me so mad. I was trying to work. I had just had a baby like four or five weeks before that. I was fat as fuck. I, I really didn't care about anything else but that I looked crazy. You looked crazy. Okay, Juno. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I know. Okay. Dog, when I seen that shit. I, I don't like, even look like myself. I was like, damn, Heather big right now, boy. I was fat. And I said it to me like, you like, oh, Groove, I seen that. Groove, that shit had me dead, Groove. Who he, said that? Tyrell, stupid ass. He was, that's because he's a dick, fool. So he thought it was funny. He thought it was hilarious. Because Gideon. Yeah. But I'm surprised you guys weren't like, like, if you guys would have not paid no attention, he would have not been able to record because you weren't giving him the reaction. It, I wasn't. But your the models bar- were already on his head. So I felt like it's my shoot. You know, as the boss, as the boss, I have to come and handle it. Like, I don't want they're trying to shoot. It's already hard to shoot on on Rodeo. So I don't want them wasting time fighting with him. So I'm like, y'all shoot. I'll talk to this guy. But then he had me so mad because he act dumb. I don't like niggas that act dumb like that. Like <laughs> Kitty, like, I don't like that shit. He like, like joking and shit. He had me so fucking mad. And then the guy just had his camera in my face. I was like, I'm going to break your camera. And when I break your camera, you're going to be real sad. So get the fuck away from me before I break this shit. And I had like threw my phone at it. But he just kept bugging me, bugging me. And he didn't put that part in there where he's just bugging us, bugging us, wouldn't leave us alone, literally following us. But he wants to put the part where I go off, you know? And I'm like, why Great did I YouTube fall for content. this? I'm like, why did I fall? Fall for this. And then, I thought it was funny when he was like, yeah, I got a couple thousand followers. And then your homie was like, we That's got That's not millions. my homie. That was the model's friend. I don't oh. know that guy from McCann of Paint. But he had my back, and it took the attention off me a little bit. He's like, we got millions, but I'm like, Jitty, I'm popping. Put in my ass. But just, I'm, I'm, I'm playing devil advocate. I'm like, as a YouTuber, that shit was funny. Yeah. And it just made it 10 times funnier that it happened to be with the homie's girl. And then he was not having it. But see, that's why I said call Hollywood Unlocked because Terrell had known the guy. Like Terrell knows the guy, whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, call him or something. Write him on Instagram, do something and figure out if this is his guy because he's really about to get socked out in the streets. Or really, for real. And I was really ready to tell Terrell, like, come in here, fuck this nigga up or do something. Bring your friends, do something. I don't know what else to do. I'm like, call Terrell. That's the only thing I ever know how to do. But he just had me very upset. And I hate that that's on the internet. Everything that's with me that's big on the internet is me looking crazy. China is big on the internet. I'm looking dumb. Charlemagne, I'm looking dumb. Got my baby at the thing. Then this fool. Like, I just look dumb. Hey, I'm like, I have to redeem myself. Hey, but at first, it was like, cool. And then he, and then when he called you big is when it, it hit you off. Yeah, I was like, because I am, bitch. And you got me on camera. Oh, I'm a fucking 
you <laughs> up. I was, and then you know what? After that day, I was like, I have to lose weight. I don't care. I have to get myself together because I did not want to look like that. And it's just, you need that motivation. Like you need, like when China was doing that Snapchat thing too, I had lost so much weight after that too. Cause she's like, you have no knees, you have cankles, you're so fat, you fat ass bitch, all this stuff. You have no knees is crazy. Yeah. And you have cankles and just was like hit and low blow, boom, boom. I'm like, okay, bitch, I can't call you fat. I can't call you nothing but bald headed and crazy. You know, like, I thought I could call you. But, sh yeah, it's just you need those things to happen. Ball headed is crazy. To, like, level up. Is, is you being a black and white woman, I'm not black. But, like, is that, like, the biggest insight you could tell a black girl? That she ball headed? 100%. 100%. They're cuz black girls it's always a, it, it's always been the insecurity for black girls. Cuz you love you cuz cuz your white side come in with your hair. I have, uh, yeah. Yeah. I have good hair cuz I'm white. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I always got picked on as a kid because you had good hair. Because I had good hair and they get like bitch are you white? Are you black? You want to be white? Like bitch, you know, it's just I always got picked on and I always had to go through it. So I've, I've just been used to it. Ball headed and crazy is funny as Ball head for sure can hurt a black girl's feelings because just because we've they've been we've been made fun of it our whole life from back in the day. Like black girls don't have no hair or we have nappy hair or whatever the case. So uh, don't ever say that to a black girl. You fuck with black girls? I've been with one. Really? Yeah. I don't think. Who? You guys don't know her. You guys don't know her. <laughs> she a ghetto though. Like ghetto booty. Like. Like get up, but but honestly, I was like, I was just on some horny shit one time. I worked with her like on some like video skit, and we followed each other. And I just, I like swiped up. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I saw it out, yeah. Let me tell you, but she's like ghetto fool. Like you know, there's like real ghetto Latinas. Just like she ghetto fool. Like baby daddy, like gang bang, and like uh -huh. and like wow, fucking with Duno. And then I was just like, and she's like. And then she just laughed and replied, like, yeah, what's up then? Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, I'm here. And then you feel me? I, I like black girls like the word like, 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 like mamas and like, cause you what? Know, like like the word mamas, like, but that's like, you know, it's like like Latinos say that, you feel me? I don't know, I don't know. I'm maybe Mamas. I'm, you know what I'm talking about, right? Just like, 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 or like, or like, you to call them mamas. Yeah, like, yeah, like, and she was like, she called me like, it was weird. Like, she called me like poppy. I don't know, how to, I didn't know if I liked that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you know, like maybe because I'm I'm Mexican, she thought that she was like doing something to my body when she called me that. Uh -huh. But I'm like, bitch, I ain't got no dad on me calling me that. Like, <laughs> but I feel like black girls don't really like Latinos. They do. I think they do. Y'all don't really in like Texas, us. No, I that's, went through so many hard times trying to find a boy like me in high school. No, let's be honest though. That's boy, Texas is crazy. I went to school with all white boys, and they're all like, "Oh, Heather, like my bestie." Like, no, I don't want to be your bestie. I want to, I want to go to homecoming with you. Like, can you ask me, fool? Like nobody. And then I just got badder and badder each year. When it was time for me, I got, I went to prom every year though. Every year of high school, I went to prom. That's not a good thing. It's not, but you were in ninth grade, so that means you were like fourteen, Heather, and the guy was probably like eighteen. Get the fuck out. Yeah, pretty much. Jail. That's been my whole. Terrell is almost. Yeah, yeah, I know how it is. He's old. <laughs> and I'm young. We're like nine years apart. The homie has a whole decade on the homegirl food. That's not okay. I'm just kidding. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine when you're older. But when you're young, no, it's not. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Guys just didn't like me like that at my school. But I only went to school with whites and Mexicans. There was, like, sprinkles of black guys in my school. And those sprinkles all took me to prom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't well, know. My last year of prom, I went with a white guy. One of my sisters um, dated a black guy before, and he was mixed. He was white and um, black. And when he came over, and like we lived in the hood at the like we, we lived at the block where we grew up, um, it tripped the homies out. Not because where I grew up is, is most is, is Latino based city. Yeah. It didn't trip them out on some like racist shit, but it tripped them out like. Like, oh, she's really with a black fool. Like, you know what I mean? And and my sister, and my sister's only three years apart. So when my sister's a senior, a sophomore, I'm in eighth grade, ninth grade. So we're kicking it at the fucking, we're kicking it at the block. My house is a kicking spot. We black booking, tagging, drinking. And then my sister one time was like, damn, Mexicans really say fool a lot. 
<laughs> and she said that they counted how many fools we said that day. Uh -huh. But he was cool. He's cool. He's cool as fuck. But it was like, but I don't know. I my mom like for my, my mom to be a Latina and like an immigrant, not prejudice at all. My mom's That's like, good. my mom's like, be with whoever the fuck you want to be. I don't give a fuck. You happy? I'm happy. Yeah. And but but like I have a lot of homies that their moms is not going for it. Really? Oh, you you, you for you Latina. Yeah. You. Why is it? Yeah, but okay, but how many of your homegirls and how many of your homegirls do you know that they're like if if they were to bring a black guy home, how would their dad react? Some, yeah, it's like half and half. Yeah, like it's it's a uh, it's a. Uh, it's like it's, it's not normal. It's it's not it's. I think it's more normal in the black community than it is in the lot. Like even okay, let's be honest. It, Texas is different because it's a it's a big Hispanic state. Yeah. So is Los Angeles though. Mm -hmm. But if you ask a lot of like like. Did they ever trip out your parents that you were with a Mexican? No. But see, but see, okay. Also, they're an interracial couple yeah. that that grew up in the in 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 and a hard mom, time. My mom's dad like disowned her because she got with a black man and had black kids. Okay, so imagine. Okay, um, I don't know. You don't have any friends that that their parents were kind of like, "Hey, you with this Mexican?" No. Nah. No, I feel like it's maybe it's a Cali thing. No, well, Terrell's a uh, Hispanic French. He's with a black lady. Okay, but that's and they have black and Mexican kids. Okay. I love interracial uh, couples. Yeah, but they got little black chickens running around. Yeah, and they're yeah. so beautiful too. Yeah, no facts. Yeah, I've only I've only ever been with one, but they've always liked me. Like in in elementary, like the first girl I knew that I, like had a crush on me, she was black. Yeah. See, the black, us black women, we like all type of men. Y'all just don't like us. Daddy, you're full of shit. I swear to God. I'm telling you, it's so sad. There was a girl on TikTok and she posted, it said black women trying to get weave and do our makeup to look good. Black men, they look at you all crazy. Like, why y'all don't like our beautiful black queens? I don't get it. Oh, you mean black men? Black men don't like black women. And I'm tired of it. There's not <laughs> there's not a lot of black and black together. And I love interracial couples because I'm an interracial couple. So I don't see a problem with it. But I also don't like that black men don't like black women. They're trying to go get Mexican bitches or white bitches. Mm. It's just so whack. There's not a lot of like black and black anymore. I see, I can see why that. Yeah, because there's a lot of Mexican and, and Mexican all, kids. And, and, and the black parents... Aren't tripping saying you gotta go. You well, actually, yeah. If you bring a white bitch home, you probably will get. Yeah, yeah, see, like, like, True. like, but like a Mexican, no, no, Mexicans like, are like, black. Like, like when my sister went over there and his family gang banged, like they was they they you know they they didn't South Center. Her? Oh, no, yeah, love they her. Come her. here. Oh, That's we what I'm we, we they her her mom dropped off my sister before at the block. Yeah, all the Chola homies was outside. Her mom was As like, black people, we come in peace, like Smack say. <laughs> We don't judge. Fuck? But see, like, even like T. Rose said he couldn't have a baby with a Mexican. Yes, he could. No, he could have, but he said he preferred. There's nothing wrong with preferring certain things. No, there's nothing wrong. I don't give a fuck. He's talked to white bitches. He's talked to Mexican bitches. He's talked to a Chinese bitch. He's had all the bitches. He's talked in the to a Chinese bitch. crazy. He's had every bitch in T. the world. T. would have had a black and Chinese kid. Our fit would have been crazy. <laughs> If you look at Terrell's contact list right now, he has so many bitches' numbers in there. We should call them on Back on Thing and see if they remember and see if they still have the same number because I do. But it'll be like this girl, like, oh, uh, Jalen 310, Jalen 424, Jalen 213, Jalen Texas, Jalen. I'm like, how many fucking Jalens do you know, bitch? How many Ashleys are there in this world? He's like, I was on one. Like, I don't feel like the only bitch on my phone. Like, ah, bitches, bro. I'm like, I know you did. But he was talking to all kind of girls. And guys can do that. I think so. I think. Yeah, I have. I have. I I go by where I meet them. Okay. So like, if I meet you in Arizona, it'll be like your first name, and then I'll put like A Z. So like, exactly if I'm in the so like if, so like if I'm in the city, I'll put A C on my contacts, and all the names will pop out, and I'll be like, oh, okay, this is who I. That's, boom. That was Terrell. I'm yes. going to Texas. Let me put T X. Yeah. And yeah. then all my Texas bitches are gonna yeah. pop up, and I'm gonna call each and every one and see who wants to pull up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe who knows? Maybe the love. Maybe I gotta stop fucking with Latina bitches and just get with a black girl. Yeah, maybe. But I'm telling you, like, look, you gotta. But it's just, it's just, it's like, it's like, it's like kind of like they've they've tried to crack it though. 
Okay, so how does a girl try to crack? Because I don't know. I've I haven't. I never tried to crack a guy. Actually, like she was like, okay, so we were like the black girl. So, so, so I'm talking about the black girl. Like what I what other girls is like, like when you approach them, or do what do they do? Like with girls, when girls try to like, they already know what's up. Like okay, so one time, damn, just were you there when I cracked that one bad bitch at the reserve? The baddie, just the baddie, and we. She's like. We, mm. The stupid bad one, I, I, I fucking, I had to get a room. I didn't care how much it was. I was like, boom. <laughs> Do you know. She was, she, from across, I saw her recording me. Uh-huh. And then, and then um, I was like, I seen her, and then she was like zooming in. I went like, but I timed it well, and she was like, and then I was like, come take a shot. And she, she was a gang of fools, though. Bad, though. And then we left the club. The homies had an Airbnb, like a little Airbnb around the corner in downtown LA, but they had like a little condo Airbnb. And I, I told the homies, like, go get her for me. The homies were like, oh, yeah, don't chill. We got you. Curly and Peasy went to go get her for me. Like, hey, my boo. Ooh, tell us what's up. But she already, she already knew what time it was. Like, she said what's up. She was, boom, boom. She took off on them. She, yeah, the homies, she, she told the homies, walk me to my car to get my stuff from my homies, uh -huh. from my homies' cars, and, and, and I'm trying to go with your boy. But the black girl was a little different. She was like, what you doing tonight? I'm like. She actually lives in where I grew up, my area where I grew up. And I was like, hey, I can't really be there. She's like, and I was surprised when she told me she lived there. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like. Why I never seen you? No, but she's older than me. Oh, okay. She's 30. I'm, this was last year. I'm 21. Oh, okay. So she's like 31 now. But I seen her post a view on her story about where I grew up. I was like, what you doing there? She's like, I live around the corner. And I'm like, oh, okay, because I, I know the views are from all my city. And I was like, oh, yeah. She's like, pull up on me. I'm like, where you stay at? And she's like, in front of, and I'm like, oh, she's like, well, look, Can't just, she's like, she's like, just park and I'm going to have the door open for you. And, and the certain place she stays at is mostly black people. So they're like, what's up, bro? Like, just like, they, they were starting and I was like, hey, we got to maneuver. Like, I put yeah. my hoodie on and then we kicked it. We did our shit. You feel me? But that is I, I mean, it was cool, but we just. Okay. So what type of girls do you like, Duno? I'm like, I'm like a little more into the introvert bitches, like low key. Like the girl I'm talking to right now, she didn't know who I was. But I like got at her at the club. Like I was smoking a cigarette outside and um, she asked me for a cigarette. And I was like, you smoke girls? Girls, it's rare for I was going to say, you smoke cigs? Yeah, when I'm drunk. And then she was like, nah, it's for my friend. And it was a gang of the homies and everybody was trying to like, there were a group of girls, everybody. And I'm like, why do you look mad? She's like, I'm trying to go home. And I was like, oh, te pegan. So in Spanish, that means kind of means like, oh, you got a man. They, so if like a Mexican word, be like, oh, te pegan. It just means like, oh, I'll say your boyfriend at home. Like, he going to hit you. Like, mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, te pegan. She's like, I don't got no boyfriend. And I was like, and then she's like, I'm just hungry and I'm trying to go to sleep. And I'm like, and I'm like, well, let's go get tacos. And I'm like, oh, wait, I can't go. I got to do something after. And then she was like, well, fucking, um, she said some shit like, oh, well, let's go to the, um, she's like, well, let's go to breakfast. I'm like, well, let's go. And I got her number and then. And then I took her to Big Bear with the homies. They fucked with her. So, oh, that's cute. So you Is know, she like, I picture like with Duno's girlfriend. I picture like a short Hispanic girl with like black hair, swaggy that wears like yeah Jordans or Chucks or something. Yeah, she's swaggy. She's swaggy. Skinny but or thick? What you like? Skinny. Uh, I'm a titty guy. Okay. I'm a titty guy, but I'm like, I'm not like if I fuck with you and you if you're pretty to me. But I'm not dating no ugly bitch either. Mm -hmm. Like I, I gotta like I've always dated like the batter bitches. Like I want to see. I'm, I've always been I like on see. top of my game with my with, with shit with my bitches. You know what I mean? I'll be like, okay, yeah, woo, woo, woo. you know what I mean? I'm never like you feel me. I don't know, cause I'm like I'm like bummy. If I don't give a fuck, I put whatever on. But bitch, you got like my, like you my gotta bitch. Look good. Yeah, like my like my bitch right now got a stupid shoe game. Like yeah, she we we were shopping and she was like, oh no, get this, put this on. And I'm like, I'm trying to be comfortable. Shut the fuck up. Like, I'm over here just vibing. She got like foam runner. She got the new Yeezy. She got she got off whites. Oh, look, I got these shoes. She knows fly. the names. And I'm like, yeah, that's you. See, I wasn't fly when I met Terrell. I was not was fly. Dusty? I was dirty as fuck. I was dirty, dusty, didn't know shit. Cheap clothes, didn't own a Jordan or a Nike. Nothing. He put me onto all that. Yeah, but, but I yeah, but I've always been like just just on my um like, I mean, cause I got like I'm funny, so bitches automatically gonna crack. It's a badass bitch. I don't be dating them though. Like if you let me fuck on the first night, I'm not dating you. Why? 
If you fuck on the first night, he's not going to date her? Why not? Because you know how many times you've done this before? So? You don't know that. You might have a connection. Yeah. If y'all are hanging out all night together, the connection is crazy, I'm fucking you. That's, if I want to, I am. I've talked to, I've talked to girls. I don't that, judge. I, I don't judge either, but nine times out of ten, you're a slut. There's nothing wrong with a slut. There's nothing wrong with a slut, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not trying to share you, bitch. Like, How do you know? She, just because she fuck niggas doesn't mean you gotta share her. Yes, that is exactly what that means. No, it's not. Yeah. Just, you whore. Yeah, we're all whores in here. Fucking whores over here. <laughs> it's okay. No, nah, but. met me as a hoe. That. So, I mean, I was living they my life said, and having fun. He was a hoe too. Yeah, facts. He was a hoe. It just looks crazier on a girl. It looks crazy, but why? See, that's why I, I like when Amber Rose does her little hoe thing because it's like, why the do y'all- walk is fire. So why do y'all label us when y'all can be out here doing whatever? Yeah, I'm, see, look, me, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I've fell in love with a hoe before. There's nothing, the hoes are the best bitches, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, Like mine right now, like, she was like hella honest about shit. She's like, motherfucker, you're going to have to wait. I, and when I got with Tara, I told him every single nigga I fucked ever. Yeah, she. I gave, mean that matters. Yeah, she gave me like her her body count, and then the homies, and then we we're in Big Bird, so she was kind of getting to know like my family, which is like all my close homies, and they was like my homies was testing her. Like we played a card game, and they're like, they, she got like the card where anybody can ask you any question for sixty seconds. If you don't answer, you take a shot. Uh huh. And the homies were getting at her. Bah, bah. She was answering. Boom, 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 boom. Not shy at all. I was like, okay, I'll fuck with her. Like she was, you know, like. And my homies know, like, I'm a dirtbag fool. Like, I'm a dirtbag. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, like, like, I've always been like a. You're a grimy nigga. Yeah. Like, like, just, just, just seeing me crack. I'll be, oh, I'll be. No. I'm a dirtbag. I'm like, fuck it. But I'll be like, it is. She, she knows though. So, you know, I guess it's like, I'm not tripping on your body count. Yeah. The only thing I would ever trip on if it's the homie fucked you before. Yeah, that's a big one. If the homie fucked you before. I cannot. It's I, over with. I cannot cuff. I cannot cuff. I cannot mm -hmm. cuff. There's no way. I'm not doing that anyways. I'm not talking to friends. Well, yeah, I'm not talking to friends. Yeah, they weren't friends. They were. They yeah, were, they were. They were coworkers. Yeah, <laughs> they were friends. I'm not doing that. I'll never talk to anybody that Terrell knows ever in Damn. life. Never in life. But yeah, definitely was had my fun time back in the day. You retired. Yeah. But you need that. Tyrell goes like, you done. I'm done with you. We breaking up. See, that's what I'm most terrified about. Because I'm like, oh, I've been together with you for so long. And if we, you break up with me when I'm 50, I'm going to kill you, bitch. If you break up with me when I'm 50 and old, bitch, and I got to go find a new nigga, oh, I'm going to be so mad. That's why when we fight and stuff now, I'm like, if you want to leave me, leave me now. Where I'm still young and cute and I can go get me a nigga right now. Leave now. Don't leave when... You know, twenty years from now, leave now. Yeah, if you get with another guy, Heather, let's just say, like, let's just hope it it's doesn't gonna be happen. weird. Yeah, but like, if I see you like at the like Merrill's, I gotta pack him out. With I honor. know nobody's gonna mess like, with me ever. <laughs> nobody's gonna mess with me. <laughs> He's gonna be like maybe like I don't know, like helping you like put up something in so realize you gotta sock him real quick. Oh, <laughs> hell no, no nigga would ever. If I get with a nigga, he is not coming to work with me and not doing none of that. That Terrell, he can never fill Terrell's spot. Like, yeah. ever. Yeah, the homie old, though. He be falling asleep when he drink wine and shit. Just, I'm gonna, good with Terrell. I'm yeah, fine with you him. You have to put the homie on a diaper soon. The homie yeah. getting old. <laughs> I'm perfect with him. I, I didn't realize how old the homie was, so he started talking to me. I'm like, when did you graduate high school? He said 2000. I said, bitch, that's the year I was born. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my she God. Grew. I was like, he like, yeah, groove it. Yeah, because that don't even matter, Groove. And I'm like, you old. But he's still fun and he can still hang out with you and still out drink yeah, you too. Yeah, he's not, he not out drinking me. He can out drink you. He's not out drinking. He's falling asleep. He might, Smack could probably out drink, but Smack old too. The homie, the, I took the homie to the club. He was wilding. <laughs> like, Smack, you got to go home. Smack is too much. Man, we did two hours and 52 minutes. Almost three hours. This was fucking, damn, we got to chop. Now, nah, fuck it, three hour part. We putting that shit up there, three hours. Don't or we could do shit. a part one, part two. Nah, three hours. Fuck it. Because, look, I was is like. Is this your longest interview? Yeah, Josh is like, my knees hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. I see, but I don't ever get to talk. But young Dunowski's, you feel me? Like, you feel me? The the environment here is, is a vibe, you know. It for is. Me? We're gonna have her sign the wall, the wall of fame. We got a lot of hoes up there though. Damn. I know avocado thotty. You fuck with avocado thotty? Only because you told me who she was. Fire. Do you I fuck with Yahira? I don't know who that is. Tyrell was checking her out. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who's Perro and Noche? Oh, Perro and Noche. They're like they're like a couple. They okay. they they. I, see, I gotta link you with them. They stupid brand deals on TikTok, and they're like a Mexican couple. Okay. So I, they they plug is like like they like they get like they get like the um. What's the Amazon shopping shit? Uh-huh. What is that shit? Like the grocery shit? Uh, Amazon. Um... No, Amazon shop or Fresh. Fresh, Fresh. Amazon Dog, Fresh. They got a stupid deal with Amazon Fresh. I'm like, damn, how many videos y'all make? Uh, do you know the Mario twins? I do know them. Please bring them on. I like them. Do you Have, have you ever worked with them? No. Oh, that's my people. I got to tap. Oh, yeah. Have we, you ever brought them on? I haven't brought them on just because their schedule is like, and they don't live in L.A. They live the they they live on the like little Oscars, but like, you definitely gotta do something with them. They doing their shit. I know. We asked them to do a Sorella collab, so hopefully, twenty twenty three we can do. Yeah, that. yeah. Those those are my people. They're so funny. I met them before, and and they do the hella family shit. Yeah. That's what they. That's what they. I I tapped in with them because of um Jenny sixty nine. I was gonna say, where did she go? She was so like lit for a minute. I'm, she's doing her sister. Still. She um. Maybe she, I just don't see her on my timeline. She's been like focused on like the music vibes. But me and Adam are actually interviewing her again okay. on the fifteenth. Okay. So it's so so we back so we back on there with her. But she kind of like the face of like when the Latina started doing like the makeup and influencer shit. She was like the she was like the forefront. Like and then the Murillo twins are popping in Saudadia and fucking. Yeah, it's cool to be man. It's cool to be Mexican right now. It is. Yeah, we got I like. I love my Latinas and Latinos. You feel me? They're you the know, best you people me? ever in my life. Some of the best people in my life are Hispanic. Okay? Her sister All looks Mexican. Them, Everybody thought that we were Hispanic. Her sister looks crazy Mexican. And my older sister too. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody would mistake us like, oh, are y'all Mexican? Yeah, yeah, like Mexican. Yeah, that. Yeah. You see, a a do not sorry like collab coming twenty twenty three. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I got to do like a makeup palette or something. Oh, do you know That would be tight. A hot chirros color. <laughs> <laughs> we have this motherfucker. It's been cheese, man. We're doing all. Thank you. We're you Heather know. Sanders. Make sure you guys follow her. Back on Fig every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. And then what? Sosorella.com. Moneyfornails.com. Moneyfornails.com. I love those promos you do. Those are the best. Thank you. And I, and I have like an ASMR thing. So seeing like the thing. Uh huh. It, <laughs> Puts me to sleep, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and then, um, what are your codes for uh, my booking and shit like that? Cause I have a lot of people that bet on my shit. Uh, it's just K I N G T R E L L. Go tap in. Tap in. I don't have my bookie code. Maybe I'll get that deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We out this motherfucker. President Lincoln. Our about her. All her info is gonna be there, ladies. If you guys want to go shopping, money for nails. So 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 so. What is it? So it's Sorella. Not Sorella because somebody took Sorella.com. I'm like, bitch, give it to me. Give me yeah. the domain, bitch. So Sorella.com. And then yeah, man, go tap in, go shopping. You feel me? We might put a discount code. Who fucking knows? Check I'll it out. I'll put a discount code for my perros. Okay, what should what should the discount be? Uh yeah, we can make it the homies for 30% off. There Don't it let is. Don't let me forget to make it, Jalen. Okay. The okay. homies. D A H. You know what? Just put Duno. D U N O. What do Duno? D U N O. Duno on Sorella and Money for Nails for 30% off. Period. Bow.